I spend, spend your whole life doing it with you, right? Hello, hello. So, Welcome to Master. Doctors and Dungeon Masters. I'm Kelly Breivik, the Dungeon Master and a PhD student at UW UWM. I think they missed that. I think it just went live. Well, hello. Welcome to Doctors <laughs> and Dungeon Masters. Uh, I'm Kelly Breivik, a PhD student at UWM, and I'm the Dungeon Master. Hi, I'm Ryan House. I'm a PhD student at uh, UWM in Media, Cinema, and Digital Studies, and I am the Druid Bugs. Where's Corey? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Corey, Corey is late. He'll be, be here. He is a PhD student and plans C Creative Writing. Is it is C Creative Writing? C yeah. for Creative Writing. I never yep. put that together until and just now. And B for the Rhetoric and Composition. Sense. Yeah. You know, <laughs> plan H. Where, where, where are the letters in between? I am Mags. Nice to see you again. Um, and I am Leah Liebzeller. I'm a PhD student in the Anthropology Department, and I am playing a bard. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Bard fighter to a class for oh, fun. Baby. Welcome to level five. Yeah. Yep. Um, just as a heads up, because the mic is so far from you, just make sure you use your outdoor voice a So little. you will tell me at the end of this whether or not you can hear me, but that is has literally never been a problem for me. Okay. My voice does this thing where it like carries, and I actually have a problem with pinging microphones more than I have a problem with okay. them picking me up. Because I'm tell looking me... at those sweet, sweet waveforms, and like I'm like this, and you're like... Oh, okay. All right. So, well, it's then okay. I will... Let's get a recap. I will speak up. From not Leia. <laughs> um, I did watch the stream last time. <laughs> actually, you know what? Do you want to do the recap no. from what? <laughs> okay. You should probably okay. leave it... O okay. I'm going to push it. So, uh, so okay. that we aren't bothering anyone. Um, so what happened in general terms is that we um, had a plan to infiltrate the um, evil corporation, uh, Anne's Corp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, right. I, I can't remember yeah. the names sometimes. That's yeah. like one of my pit, my uh, pitfalls as human being. Um, Mine too. We get real <laughs> on Dungeons and Dungeon Masters. Dungeons and Dungeons. Dungeons and Dungeons. <laughs> I like that. Like <laughs> Why are we doctors and dungeon masters? It could be dungeons and dungeon masters. Um, this game should be called Dungeons and Dragons. It should be called Dungeons and Dungeons. Dungeons and Dungeons. But anyway, so we like kind of had this plan to infiltrate with Boggs becoming a, a little snake and uh, me, us becoming oh, yeah. invisible. Oh, yeah. But an, a series of unfortunate <laughs> events left us exposed in the middle of the enemy's stronghold. And so I grabbed Boggs, Mags, grabbed, grabbed Boggs and zipped right out of there. And then we created a distraction at the front while the rogue, um, Franz, got to work and managed yes. to get the guy we were looking to get very out. Very good at snaking, but not very familiar with how doors work, naturally. Yes. You were good at snaking, but they were bad at snaking. <laughs> snaking. Um, and so, and so we created a distraction at the front gate, um, and uh, he got out with the prisoner, and then... We met up and we decided that we wanted to head back to kind of do some guerrilla war tactics to uh, to take out some of these uh, groups um, of rogue soldiers who were kind of patrolling, trying to or mercenaries really, not soldiers um, mm -hmm. who were patrolling. And so we're heading back in with a, a couple of allies, and we're ready to ready to go. Got our eyes on some tanks, right? Um, yeah, I three don't left, remember I an exact plan, so I, sure, I, I would like you to still be in like the Boggs Farm area All right, let's before do that. you okay. venture uh, out. Well, I what time of day is it? Sorry, can we get a night. setting? It's night. It's night. It's the night. Mm -hmm. We've just returned. It's yes. the night. Okay. <laughs> We've had a, we haven't had a long rest since the incident. Okay. Oh gosh, we all should do that. Yeah, we probably should. No. it's a good plan. Our goal was to... Hit while the iron was hot before they could get uh, reinforcements. Their bags. I would be okay. Essentially, actually, I'm, actually, I'm feeling pretty good. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, I'm feeling good too. I'm, I'm, I'm a warlock. You know, so as long as I got my HP and I've short rested, I'm a, I'm good to go. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Franz, what do you think? Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah. if I recall, it's me, you, for now, Ace. And Warren. Warren and Fraud. So we have a wolf. There's a lot of us. There are. Um, There's a lot for me to keep track of. We're all, we're all going. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. So so there was the I think the two tanks that had left while we were there. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't see any. We don't see any signs of them. Yeah, I um, think they they don't seem to be headed this way. 
Yeah, uh, I don't know exactly what was going on with them. Maybe they were <coughs> being uh, dispatched to like head back to home, or maybe they were on rental. I don't know, but I don't think that they were they were being <laughs> sent. Gotta get it back to Home Depot. Yeah, I don't think they were being sent to do anything uh, nasty to the people here. Because if they I were, we would that be. was like ten hours ago. We would have seen some evidence of that activity, and so I think that if we head back, they're going to be on high alert, right? But if we can try to take out some groups that are just hanging out in the forest, dwindle their numbers a little bit, make the final fight maybe a little easier. Potentially, mm -hmm. if, mm -hmm. if they have for some reason left their home base a little more unguarded because they've got all, all their troops searching out for us right now, we could maybe disable some tanks or steal some to kind of turn the tide in our favor a little bit. I like the sound of it. Okay, well, then let's head out. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, how do you plan on making your way back? If I remember correctly, it was a two hour, it was either like a one or two hour walk or something like that. Well, Warren, you know these forests pretty well. What type of path It's a two hour you... walk, anyway. <laughs> well, is, I there think... a place, is there a way that we can go that maybe they won't suspect us uh, to, to be approaching from? Um, and well, we ask Warren. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Warren, Warren goes... Well, I mean, I thought there would be a place that they wouldn't expect us to come from, but uh, that's when I got caught. Uh, so I think that they kind of have the area around their place on lockdown. Um, Where did I you mean, get they, caught? Uh, about uh, a half a mile from their, from their compound. So I would say at least a half mile, we're boned. Within a half mile radi radius? Yeah, of their place. Okay. Were we boned? Um, like, I don't know. We, well, we I mean, you, you did, uh, but they, they were just in... bad at... No, I'm just kidding. Warren. Excuse <laughs> me. Excuse me. Um, we, they, they were expecting me. Um, they weren't expecting you. Mm. They kind of thought that once they got me, that was that. I, mean, well, I don't think they I be... thought that once they got me, that was that, too. I don't think they're expecting us to show back up. I think they're probably more concerned with mounting uh, an offensive and... Uh, making sure that doesn't happen. And our goal uh, should probably be to, um, I think, I, I think, kind of like what I was saying before, Bugs, it's kind of like in Warren, it's kind of like we're striking them all the iron top. Like, we don't know, they could be going to get reinforcements now that they've seen the power we have, now that they know yep. that there's a tank on the loose, right? Like, because they know <coughs> we have a tank, presumably, because we let those guys go. Right, mm -hmm. and so I think that like the longer we wait, the worse it gets. Right, and so if we're good to go now, we're good to go now. We try to uh, try to dwindle them down. Maybe maybe if they see like one or two platoons have been taken out in the night, you know what that does to their morale? They're not going to want to fight no more. They're mercenaries. They're paid to do this. They don't they don't have a stake in this. What do you so What do you think our objective here should be? What What's our goal? Spook them. So, I mean, you killed like 20 of them. I think they're pretty spooky. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we'd kill 20, but killing 20 more might make a net in their fighting capabilities. We rally the farmers, that helps us in the final fight. Yeah. I'll let you check your Facebook Messenger. So, I'm so, thinking, I'm thinking there's. <clears throat> We could take the tank to try to maybe blow a hole in their wall to, to keep them from from. They don't have a fire. gate right now. <laughs> they don't That's have true, a gate. I set it on fire. Well, good. Okay. I would also hate to lose our tank in that because I feel like it's more. It would be a better defensive weapon. No, I agree. I don't. And the tank isn't exactly a stealth. If we're thinking of sneaking oh, through, you know, the tank isn't going to help too much well, with that. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could come in, and then the tank could follow us, but yeah. Is the tank, like, hidden at all? That was my impression. Uh, the one that you... The one we stole. For now, uh, yeah. I mean, you probably have it in an area that's tucked away, yeah. but it's a tank that for now had been practicing with, right. so... Mm -hmm. There's that. Yeah, I just was uh, more thinking about, like, you know... It's not, like, it, on the road. It'd be good if, like, some yeah. Roman band of sol soldiers didn't just see a tank on the side of the road and be like, oh, what's yeah. that? Yeah. And then, yeah, I don't think you would have left it on the side of the road. It's probably in, like, you know, where you would go driving before you get your permit to practice driving. Well, Warren, you want to go hunting? 
Oh, sorry, I was thinking you're talking to Boggs, even though you literally said Warren. Uh, and he's like, I'm, I'm always good for a good chase. All right. I shoot the long bow in my hand. I get out in the air, and I'm like, let's go. Well, that's what, fancy. What are you hunting? So, you know, the mercenaries. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Warren does this, whatever motion you did um, to make your bow up here, he does it, like, you know, just to be funny. And then he grabs his bow, you know, his quiver. and Not his quiver, his bow and arrow. Um, and he's ready to go. Okay, sorry, just for clarification, you, you're you not suggesting that we hang around here looking for people that are here, right? You're, you're talking about going to yeah, the Yeah, we're thing. looking for the search parties. They're looking out, they're trying to find us, you know. So we find them when they're in their smaller groups and we put oh, them off. Oh, okay. I thought our plan was to go back to the fortress. We're on our way there. We okay. We can do both things at once. Okay. <laughs> I, all right. I follow you. Let's do it. All right. And Franz likes sneaking, so we should be okay. But, okay. Yeah. I mean, like, I feel like we have to do one or the other more seriously. Are we? Are we making a direct path to where we know... The fortress to be. It's like two hours away. What time or is it? Are we right like, now? like ten o'clock? He's zigzagging, yeah. looking for tracks. I think we don't want to take a direct path, mm. um, because I think if we take a direct path, we're opening ourselves up. Like, there, that's probably where at least if I were them, they'd be thinking that we were going to the farm, that area, right? So it's like take it. Like I, I trust Warren's ability to like maneuver us through the forest in a way that is less trackable and less mm -hmm. okay. Um, and even if it takes a little bit longer, we get there at like one. Is that a really big difference from getting there at like midnight? Mm -hmm. um, and along the way, if we see signs of soldiers, we don't hesitate. I think we should come in through the receiving bay door. I would imagine most of the uh, the remaining troops are going to be concerned with trying to patch that mm -hmm. burnt uh, gate. So, Warren, maybe take us sort of around and then uh, well, I like at a ninety degree angle into mm -hmm. the into the yeah door. I'll I like your thinking, Boggs, um, but maybe it'd be best to assess that when we get there. No? I mean, let's plan on that. And then if I mean, the there's, is, like, monsters standing there, then yeah, sure. Let's I mean, do the fortress else. isn't that big. You and I, in, like, two turns, move from, like, the far left side of the fortress all the way to the other one, right? We, right. So getting there and move, maneuvering around the, the edges of the forest, to, you know. Well, sure, whatever. Let's, I'll follow you. I'll Lead follow Warren. All right. Uh, so he knows. So there we he are. knows these woods. Well, that guy so following close. Okay, there's a there. I was like, we didn't just like materialize in front of the the thing. Give me one second. Okay, type faster, Leia. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking. Anyway, um, so as so you're good. traversing through the woods, are you going to pay more attention? Because it's dark out. It's the woods. There's like nature and shit out there. Are you going to pay more attention to natural? Uh, things that might be an issue, or are you paying more attention to looking for soldiers? So it's either you can travel safely um, from, like, nature, or safely from soldiers. And I'm not saying there's, like, oh, there's bears and wolves that are going to attack you at, at anything, but, like, what if there's, like, a gnarled branch and you trip over that? I have you know? dark vision, so... I'm looking for soldiers, right. clearly. Uh, well, ev but even still, like, are you paying more... Like, you could either pay more attention looking at, like, this level, or, like, this level. Like, oh, I hear you. I'm looking so down. So are they walking that's, through that's dense where... woods? Is that what's happening? I'm sorry? Are they walking through really dense woods? Is yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's I'm looking right. for soldiers, though. Boggs can handle the, the nature. Mm -hmm. And I assume I have disadvantage because I don't have dark vision and I'm not I'm not using my light in the middle of a forest. That's an easy way to get caught. So mm -hmm. I'll let Boggs cover the... Uh, I'll let Boggs cover the nature and I'll cover the man. I'm also looking for tracks and... and signs that someone's passed through before? Okay. Uh, each of you roll a perception check. And mine's disadvantage because it's night. Yep. Hello, hello. Yo. Uh, why doesn't he take the, the perception check? <laughs> <laughs> He's really perceptive. Oh. Let me do it. Alright, so we'll let Corey uh, sit down and all that fun stuff so Leia can sit. I'm so stressed out right now. 20. Disadvantage. Waiting for the answer. I'm sorry. Uh, there's rolling trays. Uh, well... You know... The worst! Fifteen. Okay. Uh, are you looking um, at eye level or foot level? Oh, but which color do you want? Yellow or red? Let's go with the yellow. Go on yellow today. Um, let's do foot level. Okay. No, not, what? Uh, too late. I know. If no. I knew that he was looking, then I, I was yeah, like, sorry, I, was, yeah. I was basically just saying like he's better perceiving than I am, so okay. he's taking my role. I didn't realize that. I'm sorry. 
So, so I asked you to look for other souls for the soldiers who might be patrolling the, the woods. Oh, okay. Um, you don't notice any movement from any humanoid things. You can spot a squirrel that's, you know, chilling out somewhere, but no peoples. Okay. As far as you can tell. Uh Bugs, foot level. I rolled a twelve. Everything Plus, looks good. But you you have like a bonus to your perception checks. Uh yeah, that's not what I rolled. Oh, I rolled, okay. I rolled a 12. It's just it's just ironic that a twelve is facing up on your dice tray. And let's get a marching order, by the way, too. I'll be in the front. Okay, one second. So we got Max. This will be Max. Ace. You can't see anything. Why are you in front? <laughs> I'm in front. No, because if I'm also looking down at the ground. If, if something attacks you, I want to be there, friend. Right. Warren. I mean, you would be, you would be behind me. Bugs, right. get your thing going. Uh, oh shit! I actually, that's okay. Bogs, I just feel most comfortable when I'm the one taking the hits. I'll say that uh, Corey's up there in the front with Mags, kind of like deal. Oh wait, but you're do you, you don't even have dark vision. No, he I took this advantage on it. Okay, so we got like the we in the middle of the night. The two worst eyes leading. I, it, I, I didn't. I, I didn't funny. ask to. You know, I just want to be the one to take the hit. I know it's all good. Um, <sighs> I'm letting other people tell me where to go. I'm just actually that's well, another I got good. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to find a good Bob here. This is uh oh yeah. So there we go. Bob's is gonna be purple today because I want okay. for now. Oh my god, Leia, I am dying. I am. I'm. I'm sending okay. it. I'm just really bad at typing with my thumbs. Okay, one second. <laughs> you have to bring your laptop. I. There's only so much table space. I have my. Look laptop. at how much dice space you're okay. using. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to choose okay. my dice. That's actually what's happening. I'm trying to get some of the dice off the table. I'm just saying that there could be a laptop. Actually, <laughs> That is actually what's Okay, happening. you know, I'm just gonna... Are you going to approach them, or do I have to go with the original plan from last night? I just sent it to you. I know, but that does not tell you tell me what you, what your physical person will be doing. My physical person will be... That's what the that's what the parentheses are for. I just need to check this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can... I can like, I can are you hiding? You are you planning really on going... Sure. Up? Okay. Okay, there we I go. Am, I am mostly... <laughs> okay. I am walking in front of them, okay. doing the thing that I just put in here. Okay. <laughs> to Sounds character? good. No, uh, no. Eventually, not yet. Yeah. All right. Uh, who is eye level? You were eye level. I'm um, eye level. You notice some uh, arrows sticking out of trees. Okay. Um, but there's this little like paper attached to the arrows in some capacity, Ooh, and paper. there is one. I'll pull the arrows out of the tree and put them in my sliver. <laughs> there's on. one, one every every little bit. Two. What does the paper Three. read? Four. Hold on. How, like, how far out from the base are they Is right now? Is this a Um, I'm gonna say about a mile yes. at this point. <laughs> um, about a mile? Okay, so like halfway there? That's good. Yep. <laughs> um, so, Mags, can you walk to, like, show me your pathway to get the first thing? I'll go to the one to the, to your right. Okay. Tell me when to start heading right. We can trip. No, it's straight. Beeline it. Okay. Like this? Yep. Okay. Uh, you pull it out, and the it's actually like rolled up, so it's like made into the arrow. This mm -hmm. paper slip. I like I like pull my I have a breastplate on. Well, we'll just I like make like a shroud, and I'll cast like light on like a small thing, so I can okay. read the read whatever's on this. Um, that one says, "But for real, wrong way." <laughs> These are meant to be spaced out to be read in order. I know. Just for the record. Okay. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, I but back. he didn't go to the first I, one. I turn back and I'm kind of like, hey guys, I, I think somebody doesn't want us here. And I'm not sure that it's the fans for so I'm, I'm kind of like whisper yelling, you know, like, guys, <laughs> I think somebody <laughs> Sorry, doesn't want us here. <laughs> this thing, it says, go away, basically. Yeah. I'm going to go to the other tree, uh, right opposite, pretty much. Okay, this gonna, one? Yeah, I'm going to take the arrow there. Okay, that one says wrong way. Cool, I'm going to go up. Okay, uh, here's what I'm going to... Can you... Wait just a second, Ron. Okay. I'm going to uh, take out... What do I have to do? Mm-hmm. Is there any sticks or anything on the ground? Yeah. I pick up a stick. I cast light on it, and I throw it towards those three X's. 
Can you show me where it lands? In the middle of all th of the, the three X's closest. Shit. Shouldn't he roll to see how well he throws? Uh, I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm just throwing something twenty feet yeah. in a general can direction. Can you just place it? Um, it's just specific, and I don't want to speak for your character where it Oops. goes. Okay, sounds good. Um, it lights up, and you see that. Twenty you know, twenty. Yep. So you got that going. Um, you can see easily. Um. Do you want me to roll my sneak? I just rolled. Do you want me to roll my sneak? Yeah. So yeah, do a do a sneaky sneaky to see if anyone notices you. Franz, you see anything? I'm looking. Franz, looking in the in the area, big area of, of forty foot radius light that I, I've created. <laughs> Does he see anything? Do I see anything? Uh, do a perception check. And you, how, what would what did 24. you roll? Okay. Nope, I didn't see nothing. I didn't see Jack. <laughs> Shoot, I rolled a three plus. I also uh, texted you something. I rolled four. A, I rolled Sorry, a nat one. Sound oh off. my god. Oh no. Whatever. Okay, looks good. Uh, I don't. I don't see anything. I. I. I I'm gonna keep moving forward. Okay. What? I like what? I can't. I don't know. Oh. I suck at perception. So I'm gonna move over and pick up the stick. <laughs> I didn't realize it was this. Okay, can far you? Far out. Yeah. Uh. Well, in that case, can I shoot an arrow at it? At the stick. Well, I don't know where it is. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Okay. So can I shoot an arrow like at their feet? That is a message arrow. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, like, you obviously make move five feet to where you plan on going. I have a <laughs> bad feeling about this, so I wanted to yeah. go this way. That's fine. Uh, Leia, have your character roll to like hit the ground. Yeah. But like, not hit him. Yeah. Don't that one? That's what we're More saying. More or less. Seven. Thank God. Okay. okay. Um, you um, hit that ground. So an arrow just goes whoop, right uh, at your feet. 14. Oh dear. Hey, someone just shot an arrow at me. But it is a message but arrow. But I don't think they were trying to hit me. Oh my God. I'll go ahead, <laughs> and, <laughs> I'll go ahead and read that. You can't see that it's a message arrow. I'm on the other side of a tree, Franz. <laughs> I'll pick up the thing and I'll read that message. It says mines start here. Mines? What's a mine? <laughs> I'm not like are they is this like a weird English thing? Like my precious mines? I'll Mines area starts here. Would I know what a mine I mean, is? They have to I, if this is industrial town, they have to know what like you exploded. I probably mines don't. Are. Yeah. Mines. Yeah. Actually I first should I'll do it. Yeah. Because uh, not all of them are from 15. here. So, gotcha. well, I mean not, not from the industrial oh, industrial gotcha. part. Which I wouldn't know, so yeah. that's fine. All right, so what do you do? <laughs> what I don't know what a mine is. Friends, oh. you know what a mine. Bogs, you know what a mine is. There are hidden objects, and if you touch on them, they're pressure sensitive. They'll blow up. That doesn't sound too nice. No, and the shrapnel's even worse. I guess we should just go away. Yeah, let's just <laughs> for now. Just <laughs> going. Uh, oh. I'm gonna cast whole person. Okay. On. Wait, 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 wait. Or sorry, wrong person. For now, stop. If she keeps she moving. Yeah, so she, I just want, I just, she's scatterbrained, so she's like, what's ever, what's taking everyone so long? Let's get these. And then you say, tell her to stop, and she's like, what's going on? The ground. It's dangerous. If you step in the wrong place, it'll, it'll make big fire. <laughs> yeah, but worse. Worse than big fire. Max, you should <laughs> what, see if what you can. What cantrips do I have? <laughs> uh-huh. If these things are buried, maybe you could see where they are with your x-ray vision. Yeah. Nope. And then I can detonate it with my mage hand. Mage hand does not do that. It that exerts pressure. Ten, ten pounds of pressure. Yeah, ten pounds should be able to set off a mine. Well, I'm going to climb the tree. Anyway. Not all of them. I'm going to climb the tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I need to make any checks? Uh, yeah, do do a uh, athletics check. I'm going to ask what he knows about this. Athletics. I asked if it could be acrobatics. Do you plan on doing it really like? If that will make it an acrobatics check. Uh, Sixteen athletics check. Oh okay. no, fifteen. Sorry, I have plus it's zero. Fine. It, climbing a tree is easy for someone like you, so you're good. Um, do I see anybody? Cause like someone shot an arrow at me, so I'm trying trying to like figure out like who is this person? Do I see anybody? Um, what was your perception check? Make another one. Okay. With disadvantage, unless they're within that the light. Uh, regular. I won't say they're in the light, but there's enough shadows and stuff. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's a twenty, not natural. Uh, roll your stealth again. Again? Okay. Are, are you are you are you trying to hide right now? 
She's trying to figure out. Or he's I mean, you did, you did lose your stealth status when oh, you shot an arrow. Yeah. I did, yeah. No, um, less than that. Okay. I think. <laughs> 14. Yeah. Um, so you see someone not too far off. I'm just going to put you over here Third, for now. 12, actually. <clears throat> okay. Hiding behind a tree. What do you do? Do I have a sense of what this person looks like or anything? Uh, describe what your character looks like. Mm. A little. Like, 6 one, short hair, wearing forest stuff. No, probably not forest stuff. What race? Um, human. Okay. Um, what kind of gear do you have? Probably, probably slow performance gear. Male or female? Can you tell from here? I don't know. Can I tell from here? Uh, I don't think Maybe, so, because it's still a presume. little too dark. <laughs> okay, that's so. fair. <laughs> okay. Warren, uh, do you know Has a bow do you know anything about this? Do you know anything about ooh, minefield ooh. out here? All right, so oh, go ahead. I, well, I can ask a question, I think. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, he goes, uh, I, I know that there's, uh, there's a lot of magic users, and they probably have some nasty stuff going on. So, um, so I don't think it's, if it's a mine, it's not going to be a normal mine. So you don't you don't know if it's necessary. so you don't know anything about this. This is news to you. This wasn't here the last time you came through here. No. So I'm gonna I'm going to weave my hands together. I'm gonna cast minor illusion uh -huh. to Franz. And I'm gonna, the first illusion is just going to be person. Like right in front of him. So he sees the word person. And then mm -hmm. I'll cast it again uh -huh. and I'll point an arrow towards where <laughs> she is. Does, uh, they does are. Franz read? Yeah. Okay. Franz reads. <laughs> God plus. This entertains me. <laughs> Can I see this minor illusion? It's I mean, it's well, way over there. You'd probably be reading it backwards. Right. Yeah. I'm just I'm <laughs> just do I know that a minor illusion has happened? I guess that's the I don't know, whether do or not perception I can read check it. to see whether or You're not. You're pretty far away. I am pretty far away. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Roll the yep. three. So ten? I don't know if that counts. No. <laughs> okay. Can I see the person from here? I uh, do a perception check. Nice. With, yeah, I was gonna say like. Can I see it through Silva's eyes? You can have Silva like fly by a little. Cool. Well, something fast, but ten. No. Well, with Silva, you don't have disadvantage. Yeah, I have actually advantage. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, duh. You or took bugs. fourteen. Uh, what was your stealth? Fourteen. Okay. Twelve. For Twelve. Twelve. It was right? Twelve. Yeah, oh, yeah. So then you would be able to see where they are. Especially with me pointing them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, which, uh, which, sure. which die am I? Oh, purple, that's right. Yep. Um, so I'm going to pull out my longbow with an arrow. Mm -hmm. I use my And I'm going to start writing a message on it. <laughs> on the says, arrow? <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's, or like, I'll, I'll like wrap, I'll try to do the same thing with the piece of paper <gasps> I have. Uh-huh. And I'll, I'll write, yeah. we mean you no harm. And I'll get out and I'll try to I'll try to shoot it at her feet or their feet. Sorry, yep. you're a girl, so I'm just being stupid. It's fine. Um, that will be a. If it's not a nat one. No, no, it's an eighteen. Okay, you're good. And what were you? I was gonna write. I'm using my mage hand Aaron. to write Bye. X ray on the forest floor in front of Mags. Okay. I already told you I don't have the ring. The X ray available right now. And then I just write. W T F question mark. <laughs> I use it to save your ass at the fortress. <sighs> yep. Did we long rest? No. no. All right. They so decided you, to keep going. <laughs> what uh? What do you do uh, when you see that arrow? When I see that arrow, I'll pick it up. I suppose. Would ferrets be weighty enough to set it off? <laughs> no. Okay. All right. I thought maybe I could sacrifice some ferrets. <laughs> so you the the message in the arrow is the same message that you sent me. On oh, one okay. side and on the other side is the, the other. I message. got you. I got you. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, cool. Uh, would any of them recognize me from yesterday? Um, or earlier that day. I don't think so because I don't think your character would have been out and about in the same way. Or aggressively out and about. Not aggressively out and about. Probably just observing. True. <laughs> but I genuinely don't think that they would have noticed you, okay. given what was the shit show. It's fair. I just wanted to right. make sure before I like yeah. walked out of the darkness. Yeah. Um. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm going to try to read... Mm -hmm. 
step where I had stepped previously. Okay. On my way to them. I will say probably you looks safely, a little bit weird. You could safely get up to here if you walk a straight line. Okay. Sounds good. So you see when I see him come out after that message I sent, I I say, Hey, don't attack this person. Mm-hmm. Why? Because uh, I don't think they're bad. Why? Because okay. Bad people just shoot you. They don't shoot at your feet can with we, messages. Can we just pretend we're talking normal voices now? <laughs> I'm assuming a reaction. I could hear yeah. everything that's being said with like yell whispers going on. Yeah. <laughs> Which is entertaining to me. But okay. Sorry. I'll climb down from the tree uh -huh. and I'll get a Forgot better look at up. our new friend. Mm -hmm. I'm going to walk over to her, I guess. Oh yeah, I would have like advantage on this strike from shooting from above. So sure. who is the who is the white guy? That's me. Okay. So you yep. see, climbing down from the tree, a uh, human woman with uh, long, curly red hair um, and freckles, and wearing like kind of just a breastplate um, and some other like kind of leather armor, studded leather armor. Um, she's she currently is wielding a bow that doesn't look quite natural, but it's dark, so maybe you don't know exactly what's going on. Probably don't care. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, what goes uh, on? Yeah. So, uh, you see six foot tall dude, disheveled, kind of like brownish hair. That I don't know. It's dark. So you, never mind. Um, but yeah, brownish, dark hair. Cause you're human, right? We we have light though. Does that light actually get to us right now? Uh, like dim, but still. Okay. You said twenty twenty, was it? It was twenty twenty. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, you're just on the edges of easily seen. Would be cute if he didn't look like a disheveled bard. Okay. <laughs> oh, and uh, nice to meet you there. You can call me Mags. What's your name? Uh, Ash. Ash. Well, uh, so we have quite a big party here. Don't be surprised. Uh, so I'm going to kind of motion everybody to kind of move this way and then come up instead of like coming in a straight line towards us. I would say we go to that. Okay. That sounds good to me. I'll retrace my steps to get back to them. Yeah. Franz yeah. is right by us, so Franz, you want to... Yeah. Okay. And then Bogs... Like this, I guess. Sure. Okay. So what do you say? Because you were there when uh, Mags and uh, Ash met up. I mean, you don't have to. I just figured since you were the first... What do you one. look like? Do you always look like a plant person? Yeah. Well, yeah, no, I do. I have a hat that I can disguise myself as, but I but I haven't been wearing that since we've been back in this area. So you look like a plant person. Yeah, yeah, I look like I look like Swamp Thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Interesting. And uh, well, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm 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 still listening. Um, expecting to get some sort of information about these mines, and I will prompt if, <laughs> if that doesn't happen. So these mines, eh? Yeah, yeah they set you? them out when you all decided to um, destroy some stuff. Boy, you know, what do you we, mean? What did we destroy exactly? What? Mostly people. We destroyed wait, wait, how do you know what we were up to today? I was how do you there. know what they were doing? We oh. were there. Are you one of them? Could be. I mean, uh, Warren does like draw, like he pulls his, because uh, he, he means business. He goes, I'll, 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 I'll just cross I'll put my hand in front of Warren. I'll say, if they meant us harm, they had plenty of opportunity to just let us walk over the mines. Yeah, but remember last time? But maybe they wanted to capture us. You're so right. Last time we trusted somebody, it didn't work out <laughs> too well. Let's just be clear. You're on thin ice, but not because of anything you did. <laughs> Keep it aimed at the screw, Warren. Yeah, Warren's. And he goes, talk fast. I'm going to stand within five feet and of I'm, Ash. Be like, just so you get sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, thought I'd warn you before you went waltzing into uh, some Ash is, he is disheveled. Is he hurt? No. Okay. No, he just looks like he, you know. You don't come here. Yeah, okay. that's <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. No, do you, do I you know he does not look like he's been in a fight. He does. Yeah. He just looked like he rolled out of bed this okay. morning. Nice. nice. That's... So I'm curious why why the heads up? Why what what's your what's your angle here? Why do you care? Um. 
well, I thought you'd be more useful to the villagers who are going to die tomorrow than dead in the field of mines. I mean, live tomorrow. No. What's going to happen to the villagers? So, well, within the day, I've left before they made final preparations. Okay. However, they now have a lizard. This is some weird, weird villainous stuff going on mm -hmm. that seems like it should be in some kind of cartoon. But they What's have giant anyway. <laughs> drawings in the newspapers in the cities that are jokes. You should know that. I feel silly. I don't remember any cartoons. Mm. They have newspapers. New. <laughs> <laughs> Within the past two weeks. They're new. It kind of sounds like porn now. So for now, it's like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> However, there are lizards they're sending through the sewer system. There's the secondary army. And since you all decided to attack yesterday and mm. destroy uh, half of their people... I don't think right. it was that many. Uh, but a quarter, yeah. third, something like yeah, that. Like a quarter. So. We took out a quarter. I mean, I, I was, I yeah. personally had nothing to do with that. You through killed twenty people. Through, through it's a, it's sorry, a there's, sewer. There's just sorry, the there's no sewer system. <laughs> no, okay, I missed, uh, I messed that sorry. up. Sorry. That's all right. Yeah, well, I, I was, was like sewers. I'm like, we're safe. There's where, no sewers where are here. The, yes. Where are the lizards <laughs> coming from? <laughs> uh, you don't know where they are. Oh, they're just around. Oh. Um, they're gonna. Well, they're gonna. Warren. Uh, when you say the lizard, he's like, yeah, I know about them. Good. He um, told us about them, right? I feel like I know about the, yeah. the swarms of lizards underneath. So they've already badge. dispatched these lizard folk? You don't know that. So They will <clears> soon. <throat> okay. uh, well, and now, instead of just killing a couple of villagers to scare them away, they're just going to decimate all of the villagers entirely. Well, it looks like we need to... So why send... Why spend the time to set up these mines? Oh. If that's their goal. To make sure you don't help? Do you know where the mines are located around here? I know that they're around. I didn't actually put them there myself. How did you get through? Carefully. Well, you want to carefully lead us through? Can I carefully lead us through? This is a LARP thing that I picked up. It means out uh, of character question. Okay. Let's do it again. This. Okay. Yeah. Um, so above table, you could get them the you could get them there tracing your steps. Um, however, you don't know whether or not it's like the stealthiest route with a group, and mm. you can't say for sure whether or not they haven't put something there in like the hour or so between you coming back. I relay so, that. Yeah. Cool. So like it's probably safer. So there's like people out now lying, laying my out. Yes. But we, but we can't see them? Uh, oh, uh, Franz? You, you're a Franz is a pretty so. perceptive guy. He yeah. could help look for any new traps that have been put down. Yeah, I imagine Especially like... Especially if you were to point out a couple of them right now, maybe... You could uh, you could all roll a perception check, and I'm going to have uh, everyone... Nice. 11. 23. 17. Okay. Also I'm... 16. Okay, so you three are able to see this sort of weird space. It's not dug up earth. It's almost like this sort oh, of... it's big. Yeah. It's a big old mine. I did not mean for that to be right in the middle of those X's. Yeah. For the record. That <laughs> yeah. was not my intent. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's That's weird not my intent. archaic I got <laughs> symbol. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a weird archaic That's funny, because, like, I took it yeah. as, like, you were a threat, and you were placing whatever the threat was, so I wanted to move around it, so it's kind of funny that it worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also love that your stick landed, like, just outside of where I planned uh, it being, so. That's funny. That's those... why you didn't want me to, or want to plan it yourself. Yeah. Would we recognize those symbols from anywhere on our journey? Say, Ed's journal, or anything in the underground place? Um... You would notice that the glyphs are reminiscent of the sort of text there, but you didn't see a specific text that right. showed that symbol. Um, do I know anything about? So, mm -hmm. do I know anything about them? Yeah. Um, like, that. like you would know that they exist, and the way that it, they work is a certain uh, when they are created, a certain event triggers it. 
So it could be a person of a certain weight or a certain height or a certain kind of creature. Okay. And I tell once... everybody to stand back, and I use my mage hand. Nothing happens. Well, um, solve that so, mystery. <laughs> um, so now that you know what it looks like, it'll be easier for you to look out for more things like that. But I just want to stress, it's not drawn into the earth. It's almost like there. It's like a a um, a hologram uh, layer. Okay. Bogs don't detect magic. I do, uh, yeah. I, I, but I don't have it prepared. I do have dispel magic, though. Does it look like something that I could dispel and then investigate, or would it just sort of dissipate? What level can your dispel magic work on? Three. Okay. You could tell that you can... It's it's a low enough magic that you could choose to dispel it if you would like. You but I can only use it once. Spot, though, yeah. yeah. So... I don't cool. I'm gonna do you send. Have magic? I don't, but I'm gonna send Sova through the woods. Yeah. Oh, hold on. What? No. Don't. You can do it. Don't. Don't do anything magical. I'm not gonna do anything magical. I'm gonna send her above to see if she can like spot any of these other of these holograms in this area. Okay, and you can see through her eyes for how far? Uh, I think it's like. Check. I want to say it's either 60 or 120. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that you're going to have to make five checks to get to the compound. Okay. Um, unbothered by mines or people. Okay. Um, so, let's do that first check. Okay. <laughs> Just a, what kind of check? Um, perception check, to okay. s so Silva can stop you if you're going in a way that is leading towards the mine. Wait, 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 hold on, sorry. Silva's just flying, or we are following her? We can do both. Yeah. Mm. I feel like what you were saying is that we would be following her, right? Well, I, I assumed that you were sending Silva ahead, and once you got the okay... Yeah, you that's, what I, was, okay. that's what I was going to yeah. do. Sorry. So what was that roll? Okay, so uh, that is going to be a 14. Okay, you can't tell anything. I can't tell anything. Like, you can't, like, you... you... So really, I don't see any traps, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't see any traps. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, mm -hmm. if maybe we should reconsider our plan of attack here. Uh, it seems increasingly dangerous to keep going forward. Well, we have two We've options. just been told that the town is about to be overrun Ash, what by do you gigantic... Want? Are you, do you want to come with us? <clears throat> by gigantic lizards. Uh, so maybe we should be thinking about protecting the, the town. Sure. I like that. Um, what do you want? But we really have two options ahead of us. We have a small band What's here. Goal? We could do some serious preemptive damage. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure the villagers don't die. Okay. That's not a bad goal. Are you a villager yourself? No. Are, are you, you a contract worker? You merc? No. Why are you they hired me at, uh, as a bard over the compound. Oh, so not so just the folks. I'm just the entertainer. Okay. Hey, hold up my loot. We should jam later. We should. He pulls out a pamphlet. Nice. And uh, <laughs> Warren goes, all right, we, we need a plan of attack here. Are we going back to the farm or are we going forward? Because if we sit around here talking our heads off, uh, we're going to lose either way. I Should we split the party? We should absolutely 100% split the party. That sounds like a great idea. And, uh, Warren, Daphne here with I me. Mean, the other thing is you could split the NPC from the actual party as well if you wanted to send it. How far away is the Inquisition from you? I think no matter uh, what, the it's Dragon like a day's Board should not go from through the Inquisition. This like a full 24 it's hours? Like, yeah. From the compound that you uh, came from. Really? I mm -hmm. thought it was not that far. Sorry, what's that far? Uh, How far would it be if I, like, Exhausted myself in getting there very quickly. Um, I mean, you could, if you wanted to get someone's horse, um, you could probably get there going overnight, and then so it would take a full day for you to get there and back on the horse, exhausting the horse. What do you want? What do you want with the Inquisition? Uh, I'm thinking to myself. I haven't said anything. Else. Oh right, yeah, but yeah. would you call with the choice? Um. <laughs> I mean, I let's think about like this. Five hours away. We are in a position where they know we could potentially be coming. 
they know this. They've been setting up these mines. They are preparing for us on at or least one front. They think we're still on the other side of these mines and they don't want us to get back. But they know we're out here anyway. Yeah. Um, I agree. Do you think do you think that they are waiting for us to show up? Yes. Okay. Well, we should absolutely walk into this trap. Because if we know it's a trap, it's no longer a trap. That's actually how it works. It's still not. It's still um, awesome. It's not, though. <laughs> it's still awesome. Um, <clears throat> the only way that I would walk through this trap is if our um, newfound friend, and I do really exaggerate square quotes, square quotes walks ahead of us uh, 15 feet, and we follow behind her. Him. Him. They. Well, them. <laughs> <laughs> really, he probably wouldn't comment no matter what. Hmm. To be perfectly honest. Well, you you've been working with them. Um, yeah. Can I roll a perception check to see how she, uh, they, him, he responds to my appearance, <laughs> or, or what I know? Uh, that would be insight. insight. Yeah. Insight. Um. Unnatural twenty. Um, they don't seem bothered. I mean, curious, if anything, would that be accurate? Yeah, I mean, probably, probably just kind of, huh. So Maybe nothing that, the... you, you're, you're at least familiar with the possibilities. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Warren. What? What do you think we should do? You obviously went, spent the most time in this, their encampment. Um, should we strike first or prepare? He, he According has to Ash, think about that. Bogs by ourselves took out a quarter of their thing without even getting so much as a scratch on us. <clears throat> I'm not really sure how many were killed. They also I didn't use any tanks. According to Ash, sure. They also didn't use any tanks. They were they were surprised. I don't we think we fought soldiers. Guards, maybe. But not, you know. We're... He goes. And we have to find you. You guys don't have to find any lizards. And right. I've seen them. There's. Countless, countless yeah. cages. Like, like, what, like, I'm assuming like, like uh, Komodo dragons. Uh, yeah, like pit bull size. Yeah, pit, they're like you know, wolf wolf size. And uh, Warren goes, there's you, just as yappy too. A hmm. lot of things that are gonna fuck us up. Um, you know, we've got the lizards to worry about. We got the tanks. We got the people. We got you know, magic users among fighters and. You know, they have sheer numbers on us. So we've got a lot of things working against us. And so, if we want to inter like if we want to intercept any of that, we have to go through this fucking minefield of shit. So there's no way we're going to quote unquote win. These mines can't be picked up, right? No. They could be dispelled or triggered. Hmm. Well, I think the best thing we can do right now is prepare the townsfolk. I think you're right. Agreed. I think you're right, Bob. Agreed. I think I'm right. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So we could do. I mean, we could do. We could split. Uh, split the two party. of you and her could go to the fortress. I could take the Dragonborn and uh, Warren. The Grimace here. Warren. <laughs> I mean, I think we should, we should take Warren with us. Yeah? Um, he knows the encampment the best. Not He's, sure. He literally stayed next to those lizards. I'm sure he collapsed. Right, Warren? I mean, what, what do you want to do? You want to go back to the... Um, Have any of you been to the villages? We've been to a village. Yeah. He's from here. Yeah, yeah. he's from here. I was from here, too. Why do you ask? Because yeah. if you're going to go try and prepare the villagers, maybe you should take people who they won't automatically suspect as being against them. Sounds racist to me. Do you mean the villagers? Yeah, yeah I mean the villagers. Yeah, uh, yeah he looks at Boggs, uh, he goes, he's, he's grown up here, he's one of us. I'm talking about you two specifically. Oh, okay, so, sorry about that. <laughs> I, I misinterpreted that. Sorry. Um, it's so, more like the two people from this area. Yeah. Maybe. 
Listen, I um, just don't see... He he goes, you know what, genuinely, I I think that as m we should have as many people go with you as possible. We don't need a million people to ready the villagers. Um, so... I just don't see, like, mm -hmm. a situation where we win if we don't do something tonight. I, I agree. Um, I... Uh, Warren pauses, and he goes, do you know what would trigger these things? And you would know that they set it up with the expectation that once a humanoid person walks through, that's what triggers it. Something human or humanoid. Well. Um, and he goes, Boggs, it's your time to shine. And I'm humanoid. That you can in the shape wild shape. So true. Just it's saying. But, um, and he goes, well, there's a lot of soldiers we need to get rid of and a lot of mines we need to get rid of. So why not two birds with one stone? Are you telling, are you saying lead them into the forest, the traps they set? Hmm. Not all of them know what the other did. <sighs> that is a disorganized army. I like, I mean, they seem pretty, I mean, they couldn't organize a counter strike. And just so you know, this is not the DM trying to put you into like the only way you could win this. This no. is just like no, a way that he would think of. Well, I'm, I'm, I like that idea, but I'm worried that, like, where I don't like betting on my opponent's incompetence to win a fight. Do you know what I mean? I've Go gotten on. by so many times on that. I'm alive because of that. I want to scare him. That's what I want to do. All right, how are we going to do that? I have ways. Okay. Ash, what do you, what's, what's your estimate? Uh, for the release of the of the lizards, one to two days. Oh, one to two days? Oh, okay. Well, that changes things. Sorry, I thought this was like pretty imminent. Like tomorrow morning. And could no, be, yeah. like like it might have happened already. Okay, it, it, it could be. Okay. So how are they releasing? Are they just like put like taking out the cages on like the tanks and then releasing them in front of the village? You know how they're controlling them. If that, how, are they how, they control? Control? Oh, how do they control them? <laughs> I, yeah. Anyway, did, I, did, did did you tell me and then yeah, I forgot? With, uh, with I'm gonna I'm going to text That's... you a name to remind you and see if that helps at all. I'm gonna turn on the light because it's getting a little dark in here. Oh yeah, thanks. Kind of oh yeah, right. And that's how, and that's ash. where you thought the sewers came from because you were confusing the. Interesting. I got you. Yep. So good. Um, put things together. Um. Well, do you all know Fenry? Yes, he has a lot of weed. Yeah, <laughs> actually, does. I still. You want some? I got some. I got an ounce. What's Probably going on with Fenry? He was a good guy, and yeah. it makes me trust you more that you know him. Yeah. Or are we gonna learn something about Fenry? Where I shouldn't be eating all his pop, pop cookies. Anyway. Are they brownies? He makes those musical instruments. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's how they're controlling that's what the lizards. How did they get those? Well, I imagine Fenry sells to quite a few people. He did say, remember when we were with him, that he made a big sale right before and he was set for life. You guys, you guys were pretty high. You might not have. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, you know, it is true. Was I was blitzed. <laughs> Well, and I uh, well, he's, 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 you, he's I still know. a good dude. But so break the instrument. Break that. So we've got we've got a couple different things we could do. Yeah, do we you know kind of we could try to disable tanks. That would be useful. Scaring soldiers. Students. That would be good. Breaking any instruments would be fine. That could be. Useful. Ooh, I also have an idea. See, we don't have to necessarily break them. We just have to change out the strings. Well, that's what I'm trying to get uh, at. What kind of instruments? What we're so what I'm saying is, if we can't, if we can only do a covert thing. We don't want them to. If we don't want to set, set them off, that their instruments are broken. We change out the strings. They're gonna play them. And Do you know how work. long it takes to change strings on an instrument? Lots of time. Yeah, but we, the, the bard is just kind of sitting here, like listening to you say that. Just, like, we do smiling. it poorly. Okay. We do it poorly. <laughs> what kind of instruments are they playing? The yeah, guys? I don't. We, where would we get the extra strings? Probably. I got string. Remember, you, don't, I, you don't have enough That's, strings. You for only have how magical many instruments string. are there? Like, how many instruments are there? Um. Do I ish. Well, there, there was like 50. Oh, so. There's a lot. There's too many to just replace. <laughs> there's a lot. Yeah. So, okay. so, sorry. Breaking, setting them on what fire. What you understand is, are we talking about oh, platoons of 
lizards and, and new person around. Bars. The leader is yes. playing their little flutes. Yes. Yes. Okay. Were you commanding one of these units? They were the entertainment, remember? Yeah, but now I'm suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Would they I, have asked me to? I, I got fucked over um, once. You know, what I imagine is there might have been all, t and you might be realizing this now. Um, is, was I supposed to? I don't, you know what, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> like, I think that um, they might have said that you were the entertainment, but if they're using pan pipes, they might have wanted you to either lead it oh, or I teach didn't. people how to or something like that. Did you so, teach anyone so. how to play while you were there? I don't know if I would have asked you that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, he might volunteer that information, actually. I only found out because I was teaching people how to play pan pipes and then I had mm. to ask why so many people needed to play pan pipes. Mm. I mean, they're a good instrument, but they're not... Hmm. They're not 50 people good. Yeah. You don't mm -hmm. want a choir. <laughs> Wait, so they're not all <laughs> So there's not, they're not all screens. Some of them are pan flutes. There's they, none they of them are. Right. All yeah. of them are listening. Uh, so so all we got to do is exchange the flutes. <laughs> yeah. I like, wink at front. It's a joke. Like, yeah. you know, like exchange the strings. Oh. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Well, that I is like definitely oh, a plan. We had 50 of days. <laughs> we had 50, 50 days. days. Yeah. We can make a pan food each day together. <laughs> okay, I think yeah. we should go in, see what damage we can do. The more we can, cr we can, cr uh, fuck up. Let's cripple their, uh, mm. their infrastructure. We and can their... also just steal some pan pipes. Yeah. Not a bad idea. <gasps> we uh, could have... <laughs> A school of rock competition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if this actually happens, I will multiply. Yes. I, th I think. Okay. I think that I, oh I like God. your thinking there, Ash. I like the idea of uh, uh, of swiping some of them, but I think that swiping fifty might be a little unreasonable. I'm saying, how many people do we have this party? Like ten? Can you tell if there's a if there's a limit to because 50 seems like a lot, so is there a limit to how many lizards that they can control seven with one? Right but Warren said and back, and, so, and like we so right now, I mean, that is the limit, or they just happen to have 50? They just, oh, sorry. Um, is the reason they have 50 more strategic, or? Yeah, does one, but does one pan flu control a certain number of lizards? Uh, there... Uh, it sound like you don't know how many lizards there are, mm -hmm. um, but you know that there sounded like there was a metric fuck ton of lizards. But sure. there's about fifty people on the compound. Gotcha. My, qu it's my question like, is: is if we rules? get rid of forty nine, so now pipes, they have extra. Can can yeah. someone still do all this stuff with one pipe, one one flute? Well, you um, Henry got you a uh, made you a pan pan flute that does that sounds like it does something very similar. Did he? Yeah. Dope. You paid money for it and everything. <laughs> it's true. It's right here in my bag. Yeah. Um, well, can you teach me how to play what you taught them how to play? With this here planned flute? Sure. Listen, <laughs> good idea. Oh, we're burning oil. We gotta go we should go no. and figure this stuff out in the in the in the afterwards. Okay? Yeah, I like the Ash, you know, lead the way. But you, uh, Bob's after <laughs> tuning to that, you would have known that it controls a small swarm. Mm-hmm. Um, so you imagine, like, it's a small swarm of, you know, specifically for, uh, these lizards. Mm. Yours is made for woodland creatures. And, Beavers, yeah. in particular, actually. Is that what you decided? Why don't I know this? <laughs> so there you go. I know. I was so excited. I was so excited to oh. be able to If I did, I could today. just blow up all the lizards. <laughs> One. Boom. Okay. Is Chirp still with me, by the way? A little dude. Check. Check your bag. I mean, my back says he is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um. Ever, but ever since you came, uh, service side, any light, he's just not a fan Oop. of. He right. he hides away. Fair enough. Give Chirp a little bit of the wheat brownie. <laughs> Yeah. All he right. eats it. So he eats let's, everything. Let's let's get there. Yeah, let's go. Ashley, the what? Uh, to the compound. To the compound. Okay. Right. I'm going to say that. Let's send the dragon board back because they yeah. have floppy tails that are yeah. like made for yeah. precision. Yeah, for now it's not the stealth. I'm not, I'll talk and to neither no, is I'll just say, hey, uh, yeah. this is was originally going to be more of like a okay. fight and run kind of thing, but it's turned a lot more into a. Sneaky sneak kind of thing. Bye for mm -hmm. now. And I'm no. The ace offense. is pretty sneaky. No, um, he's not. 
Remember, so. you, you gave him one lesson, and in that lesson, like, he learned how to, like, use a dagger effectively. Okay. Um, work on his sneak skills. He's going to the class at some point. Yeah. Anyways, right but, now, he's on his way to Rogue, but... I, I tell her, we'll see you soon. And I assume Warren's heading out with them? Uh, Warren actually wants to stay. Okay. Um, cool. Because he doesn't feel like there's a need, like, he feels like there's more of a need out here than there is warning the villagers. Cool. If we... So. He goes, I'm just, I'm gonna say, Warren, if we don't make it back, I'll make it back, cause I have no stake to y'all. I have more stake to that. So, you know, it's good. It's, he'll cut and run as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah, he no absolutely offense. will. Good. Then take it. I want you to cut and run. Yeah, cause right now I think you, you need as much, you know, power as you can get and sneaking skills, and you know, I plan on making out of here alive. Uh, but we don't need me out, you know, telling people what. For now, and Ace already can tell him. Okay, and I uh, turned to for now, and Ace. So I'm like, okay, for now, Ace, you need to go to. Uh, what's your mom's name again? Kalua. 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 Yeah. Kalua. Um, like you guys just tell her you, they need to start as soon as possible working on defense preparations. Let them know what they're up against. Um, Get that tank prepared to roll out. At yeah. a moment's notice. That tank mm -hmm. needs to be. Oh, okay. you all know that they have two types of tanks. Right. No. Yes. Yep, we know. Yep, we know. No. Yes, we know. Okay. <laughs> you might not. Know. I didn't know. You I mean, still don't really know. But anyway. Yeah, they don't know much about that. They don't know a terrible amount of the second I did notice they. that they were drawn uh, differently, but I thought it was just yeah. Kelly's art skills. I Excuse do know you. how to drive one of the what? tanks, just so you all know. Okay. Oh, cool. that's like a that. useful skill. Cool. Let's get Gucci. Okay. Um, um, go ahead. And all this talking with Ash, can I make a check, like, in, how much do I believe what he, uh, do his, like, motivations? Okay. Insight. All yeah. the way. That'll be an 18. Do I need to roll deception? Um, I don't think you said anything deceptive, um, necessarily. Um, I think everything you said has had. Yeah, kind of yeah. cool. I questioned his motivations a couple times. Yeah. So you would know that he's not being entirely truthful about his motivations with that. Um, but mm -hmm. you can also tell that they don't seem like they're going to... Like, you don't trust that they would help you, but you also uh, don't suspect that they would actively harm you. So I kind of get the sense that they have their own reason for what whatever they're doing here, but they're not, like, working for the enemy or something like that. So, I mean, I they are literally say, working for the enemy. Yeah, like, <laughs> they, they are literally getting paid yeah. by the enemy. I meant, like, like their allegiance is, does not appear to be for the other. Like, they're not, like, a spy. Even that's, like, ambiguous. Like, but you don't know whether it's because they're not being truthful and you ha they haven't explained it yet or if they're just hiding. All right, I'll pull back and talk to Boggs while we're walking. Uh uh, and I am 15 feet in front of you guys, as yeah. requested. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Trust this guy. Not, not any further than I can throw him. And he has a negative dex modifier. I, I mean, a strength modifier. I don't even like that. He's uh, leading us through this. Why is he leading us through this? Because they know the path. And if anyone blows up, I want it to be yeah, them. That's why. Yeah, he could lead us right into a tramp. Which is true. So we should really be uh, on the lookout. Um, on I guess it's me because I'm the only one I can see in the dark. <laughs> you're about to um, step on something, and Warren quickly grabs your shoulder and pulls you back, and then points to the ground. Um, and there is an, a glyph that you literally almost stepped on. Great. Um, and he lovely. I'm gonna pull out my lantern from my pocket. <laughs> can someone make the second check now? Mm -hmm. uh, I nice. stop you there from playing that. We don't need any more eyes on Ooh, this. Ooh, nice. That's a, a natural 20. Okay. I'm walking cool. 15 feet in front of you. How, yeah. how far yeah. is that light? They see. Yeah, it's 20. I'm going to say 20 20. And, it's 20 20 for what you can see, but someone from farther away can exactly. see the light. Yep. The lantern? Yeah. It's a 20. Okay. So, um, so I, if, if they try to light the lamp, I'm going to take that as an aggressive yes. and try oh. to stop them. Okay, oh. just so you know, it comes out of their pocket lit. lit. I will stuff it back in the pocket. It goes right back in the pocket. Just so you know, I'm behind you. <laughs> you say, no, no, no. And, and it's in the pocket. Yeah. I'm behind you with my owl, and that's how I'm telling you 
about the path forward. Okay, so someone is telling me about the path forward. Yeah, yeah. I just couldn't pick up on that trap last time, but I rolled a, a natural 20 this okay. time. Okay, cool. Um, you're able to so find... I can't see in the dark, so this no, is super okay. fun. <laughs> um, you're able to find where the glyphs are in this particular patch and are able to navigate effectively. Okay. Um, round three of five. Go. You kill me. Ooh, I just rolled two 18s. Nice. Plus 26. Yep. That time, you're good. You're able to navigate. Um, you see that there's some foot tra more foot traffic here than there was before, but you don't see any people in your immediate path. So now you're up to four. Four? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot you were looking for people, too. That's so. not bad. Uh, that's going to be a 16. Okay. It takes you a little bit more time, um, but you're able to find, and I'm going to just... Leave the map where it is, more or less. Um, these are like trees of notice. This is where the thing is. But you also, at this point, see some people milling about. And it looks like they're um, trying to pick out another spot to throw, throw something down. How many of them are there? Two. Yeah. Cool. That I pull out my that. longbow, and like with, I look at like Warren and Franz, and you have a bow, too. I shoot. Oh, nope. no. Are you fucking serious right now? We're not going to, no. like, time it together? <laughs> yeah, let's all do it. <clears throat> time it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's Franz, you can shoot. You have, you have cantrips. <laughs> yeah. You could, uh, if you want to do a stealth check to in order to be able to make a plan. Yeah, let's do a stealth check. Well, can, can I just, like, silently be like... I th I, that's what I thought we were doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then, Do you have a bow? So I, I need to make the stealth check? Uh, well, you're not doing if you were talking. I wasn't. I was trying to just be like, see them, pull out oh, a arrow. Oh, that's Gucci. Look right at them and yeah. get ready to fire. Okay. That's going to be Do we have advantage because they can't see us? Um. And then roll made roll down to regular cause they, because it's in the dark. Can I see them? Oh, I hand you my crossbow. I'm pointing right. them out to you. It's not like my crossbow, this. my shortbow. That doesn't actually mean it's a one d six. It's based them. on decks. Yeah. <laughs> so roll a roll a person. Everyone. But they're roll human, so they have to be using some sort of light to set up this mine, right? I mean, you don't know if they're human, human. But are they using a light to set this up? No. Okay, that's all I need to know. Yeah. So what are we doing? Um, roll a well. You're the only one that saw it because you're the one that's looking for it. Yeah. So. Everyone should roll a perception check with advantage. I'm not even going to roll advantage. Yeah, that's fine. It's a plus four, too. Eleven. I rolled double okay. tens. Okay. Um, Fifteen? Okay. Um, everyone except Warren with his old man eyes is able to see ah, okay. where uh, they are. Okay. Let's roll initiative first. Okay. And you get a surprise round. That's going to be twenty-three. Uh, did you get that? Did I hand you that across? Uh, short, sorry, short bow. You said it was a 1d6. Yeah, 1d6, It's and it's based on decks. Okay, Leia. 20. Uh, what's your dex modifier? Uh, 4. And that's probably higher no. than max, so. And Boggs? Fucking, um, 4. My, if it's my lowest roll, I'll, I'll, I'll settle. I'm okay with it. That actually makes sense. So, you go first. I'm, yep. I'm 20. You're, but you're, you're, oh, I'm so sorry. Microphone. Cool. Okay, I'm going to shoot the... Uh, is that D10? The, yeah, the D10. The, one's a D1. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you, yeah. Ooh, that is not good. But I'm going to use a luck point. Okay. Awesome. That is going to be D23. That hits. Cool. Ooh, um, 10, 11, 15, 17. It's going to be 22 damage. Oof. They do not like that. You said the D10? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Next up is Warren, who's going to roll with disadvantage because he can't see. But yeah, it shouldn't be a straight roll because the enemy can't see him. I'm sorry? That shouldn't be a straight roll because he's attacking from a hidden position. Oh, yeah. He should have advantage. That is true. I forgot about that. So that means he hits four, and he's going to hit the same one. And he has sneak attack. I know. Yeah. So one second. Wait. Yeah, he does. He also Okay. 
that's nine points of ouch on that one. Um, next up is Mags. I'll shoot the other one. Okay. That'll be, ooh, avoided a natural one with that advantage. Uh, nice. That'll be 25. Hits him. How far away are we? Um, like 40, 50 do I, feet? I get my two, right? Uh, you should. Are you? Yeah, are you I just have my. Button? I have extra tech. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just because like sometimes you'll do like it's a like reaction. Yeah. Like we're all shooting at once. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll, but I'll roll the damage and then I'll do the other one. That's one. That'll be that'll be a good thirteen. Second strike. Okay, one second. Uh. Second strike is twenty three to hit. Hits. That'll be another twelve damage. Okay. So. You murk that first one. No, I was attacking the other one. Oh, sorry. Oop, one second. Let me undo. There are that. two of them? Yeah. So you said 13 yeah, plus 12? Yeah, we can see. Yeah, so okay. 25 total damage. Okay, never mind. Uh, Leia, you're much. up. Yeah. Uh, pretty hurt. Sorry that it was an arrow. Right. Oh, no, it's all good. I think you said it, but I just tracked it wrong. I'm sorry. Shoot an arrow. Okay. Oh, that one. You have an advantage. Do I? Attack him from a hidden position. Okay. Two. Okay. <laughs> Two plus That one does stop. not. Two, uh, nine. Yeah, that doesn't hit. No, it doesn't. Uh, That's Bob, you're right. Should have done what I wanted to do originally. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's going to be a ten. No. Uh, then we're back to the top with bronze. But now we're no longer attacking from a hidden position. Yep, and now we're back to, that's your surprise round done. Yep. So. Can I have Damn it. Yeah, I wish yeah. I had done that too. I assume that, do you want me to erase that? Mm, oh no, that, that glyph is still there. Okay, okay, okay. So. You set up with that glyph in mind. Okay. Yeah. And it's been pointed out. I should have yes. act as though my yeah. character knows So that when, uh, there. when Franz did his check, he found that glyph okay. and those people. Can I move? I'm sorry? If I move, it's, it's the last of my turn. Uh, yeah. Cool. Cool. I'm going to shoot the D10. Oh, Ooh, that was a nice roll back there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was great. Uh, it's gonna be a twenty-seven. Uh, it's gonna be nine oh, points of damage. Okay. True. And I'm uh, gonna hide. And Warren. It's a uh, sixteen to hide. Okay. Yeah, that that does it. Warren attacks with disadvantage because he can't see. Um, but he still gets it, so good. Alright, awesome. Um, he hits four. Six damage on that first one, and then he's going to bonus action. Hi, and gets it. And I'm going to say he goes right behind this tree and chills. Um, next up is Mags. This one looks more hurt. Uh, the D10. We'll take a shot at him. Uh, is it he? Uh, yeah, they both look male. Uh, that's a 16 to hit. Uh, that hits. Uh, seven damage. Okay. Still alive? Uh, probably, let me see. Action. No. D10's done. There goes that the original guy I was shooting. That's a 19 to hit. Or no, hit. 21 to hit. Hits. That's another 11 damage. Man, this longbow is so good! <laughs> I like being... I love this Pack to the Blade Warlock. <laughs> you are up, Leia. Alright. We're gonna... I'm only gonna disadvantage now? Uh, so you I saw him. I think okay. only Warren was not able to see him. Alright. In that case, I guess we'll shoot another arrow, because I don't want to waste a spell. Mm -hmm. Which was the other option. That's Woo! Nice! Fuck him up! Get it, get it. <laughs> You're one of us now, Ash. <laughs> uh, Alright, so remind me how critical hits ha work in 5e again. You can either roll, roll the dice twice or roll once and double it. I do roll the dice twice. Mm -hmm. Okay. 14 plus 3, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, 14 plus 3. So, 17. That's gotta do it. One second. Uh, I wouldn't say so. Let me pull it. That actually does. Just barely. Um, so he's I off the map. I how much damage I did for the last round. <laughs> do, 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 Make a perception check. Everyone or just... Everyone. Uh, just okay. Gosh. 10. Woo! 19. 19 and 2. 
Okay, uh, the two with the 19s notice like this brief glow um, somewhere a little bit further back from when they were, and then nothing. Uh, I lose two arrows at the glow. Okay. Can I attack with disadvantage? Um, you can. Um, okay. Yeah, just go ahead. Uh, the first one's a 20. Mm -hmm. uh, no, disadvantage. Uh, 6 plus 9, 15. Um, you could tell that you shot the arrow where that, where, wherever it had been, but no, you don't hear anything hit. Something's over there. I think it's another mage. Um, um, uh. Um, can I move forward and try to investigate? Uh, yeah, so where do you want to go? I'm moving with them, and I'll cast light on, uh... Oh, uh, let's, let's pause because, like, it, uh, one, one person at a time. Okay, okay. So, do you want to go, like, here? Yeah. Okay. And investigate first. It's gonna be an 11. Okay, you don't really notice anything there. So then what now? Um, what do we know? Box um, was next up in the order, so I'm not sure if we. I'm gonna try to also shoot that um, that light area. Well, there's no light there anymore. It was like there was a light, mm. and then not a light. I'm gonna ask what you see. What are you shooting at there, bronze? I'm not shooting anything right now. Um, Did you not just shoot? No, Mag's shot. Yeah, yeah nice shot. shot. <coughs> I an arrow and didn't go there. Technically, I have a second shot. Can I sh Do we hear anything? I mean, you can. Um, I'll just, I'm gonna take the second shot just cause. Uh, it's a 19 to hit. Oh, no. I want to keep playing like it's advantage. 13. Uh, probably it's less than the last one. Yeah, you don't hear anything yeah. hit. That's but I mean, that would have all, that would happened at the same time when I shot the other one. It was just like I shot two arrows at once. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have sacred flamed it. Darn it. That avoids cover. Um, hmm. Meanwhile, Warren's going to also pop up over here. Yeah, I'm gonna move look. towards um oh wait, everyone's shooting? Oh no, he's just doing a perception check. Where do you want to move? Uh like it's far up, yeah. Okay. As buys moves away, I just mm. I just say be careful for mines. Hmm. Oh yeah, can I make my final perception check for mines? Uh you know that this is the only mine like in the immediate area. Okay. okay. Twenty two of perception. Okay. Um, you see a mild, like, scorch mark, almost, like, on the ground, like, um, like, kind of like Doctor Strange sort of portal thingy, um, okay. as it, like, if the portal scratched the ground, pretty much. And there are two sets of feet, fa footprints facing towards that. Do so, I know like, what that means? No. So, like, if there was, like, something, if there used to be something here... Can someone make an arcana check? Uh, yeah. Can I move up and make the uh, make an arcana check? Mm -hmm. Nine. Uh, arcana fourteen. Um, you. Uh, what what did you get? I'm sorry. For I had fourteen second. box at seventeen. You want to make no. one? No. Seven. Seven. No. Seven. Less. <laughs> less than everyone else. Ten. <laughs> Sorry about that. The recording paused for a moment. Uh, so you would you would have no, remembered something, seeing something like this in the book that you read, um, and you know that there are certain magics that's very similar to your magic, where people can open a portal and jump into it to get to somewhere else, uh, not too far away. Is everything within the circle? Burned? I let out a deep sigh. I was like, what? Everything in the circle is scorched, like like burnt um, grass or whatever. It's just like a burnt, like, uh, it was almost, almost like, like it was divot? vertical. Yeah. Uh, there okay. was another one here and we missed him. Well, he knows we're coming and he's alerting others. Folks, so. uh, We still gotta go, we gotta get them lips. Yeah, can we, yeah. uh... Darn it, I wish we had seen that one. Can we hustle? Right. Let's hustle. Okay. Let's move. Yeah. Can I make my last check? Uh, nope, last check. Nice, 19. Yo, um, you see... Um, now, here's something that's beneficial for you, at least. Um, you got a better check this time. Um, but you see an out-of-breath-looking person talking to the two others that are there. Um, so I see three people? Yes, you do. So the question is, do you all trust me enough to go in first? I'm going to do like there. Are you asking in character? Yes. 
And then same same thing. Yeah, there's yeah. a glyph. There's a bunch of things. But then you see like this uh, looks like a really like out of breath uh, person talking very urgently. I'm like, okay to let them go in. I'm like Ash. We talk about this, but we need to take care of this group first. Oh wait, Why so not? are we not at the gate? Sorry, I thought that we were like no, we're at the, you're you're pretty much like, at you're pretty then much that didn't happen. Yeah, you're you're at like the last like foresty bit before you're in there. Okay. So like once you get past this particular spot, you are <laughs> at the clearing. But they are not in the clearing. How far away they are from not. the building they are still is in the, the like thirty feet? Um, thirty feet of no woods between. Ah, uh, that's a little bit. I would say like sixty. Okay. Um, okay. So like. You're far enough in the woods where you could try and sneak around them um, without doing anything. Let's sneak up on them and see if we can hear what they're saying. No, we... we my should. guess is that's the guy that just we just yeah. saw or didn't we see. Need to, we, need yeah. to, we need to wipe them off like that. Here's what I'll do. I will, I'll let you guys all attack. And then I might... Remember that thing I did with the Inquisitioners where I froze them up? Mm -hmm. If it seems like they're they're going to be around for a little bit more, I'll freeze them. If not, I'll attack. That's the last resort. Can we tell, I mean, like, yeah, yeah which one's talking? Uh, the, the D20. One that's, out of okay. uh, that's out of breath. Let's yeah. focus that guy. Okay. Um, Ash, how do you feel about that plan? Sure. How, how, how close can we get? Uh, I'm going to say you can move up to 10 feet from where you are right now. Okay. okay, I want to do that. Okay, so everyone move to where they want to be. Okay. Um, you will get a surprise round again because you were able to like navigate. Because Silva went far enough. And, and they're then. not like expecting it because they put all these mines. They're expecting someone to trip a mine, right? I just want to yeah. point out that I feel like we're in the matrix because I've seen it's like three groups of trees that have looked exactly like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to expedite the battle process. Do you want to roll I'm going to keep the same initiative as okay. last time, just so that I don't have to reroll. Can I hold my Can I hold my turn until everyone else is gone? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. So, uh, everyone do a perception check first, just to make sure that you're able to see in the dark. Okay. That's one Nice. Seven. Seventeen. I have directors. Yeah, you don't need that. Seven. Okay, so you'll have disadvantage on rolls on uh like attack rolls. Um like rate like area of effect yep. spells will be fine. Yep. yep, yep, yep. Um, Alright. But yeah. Um so first up is Franz. Well I'm gonna shoot the D twenty. Okay. Ooh, nice. That's gonna be twenty five. Hits. Cool. Do I know? Do I know any of these people? You would have seen them in the compound. They're um, all magic users. You would know. Okay. That's gonna be twenty-one. Uh, damage. Yep. And then I'm gonna attempt to hide. Okay. That's gonna be a seventeen. Yep. Uh, next up is Warren, who's going to do the same darn thing. Rolls with advantage. Hits. Where's the number D six? Here we go. You need all the D6. I do. do we keep it oh, you rolled well. Same yeah. initiative as before. That sucks. Is he a level lower than me? He's two levels higher than you. Oh, then you should oh, be rolling shit, yeah. more D6. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're not wrong. I'm a, I'm the worst rogue. Okay. Yeah, he uh he fucks that guy up just slightly more than you, and he just turns and goes, heh. Just like that. Warren does that, though. Not the guy who just got shot in the oh, face. Oh, no, no. Okay. Warren does that. <laughs> oh, the guy just like an arrow in his head. Because he did just <laughs> just slightly more damage than you did. <laughs> but, like, me, me, only me. slightly. Um, me, 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 me. <laughs> Next up is Mags, who's delaying your turn still. Yeah, I'll go I'm last, and then for this one, if that's yeah. okay. Well, I still get to go back at my 20, the next one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Leia, you're up. And this is a prize round, right? Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna shoot myself an arrow. Ooh. Uh, 25. Um, yeah, I assume that, is. that hits. Yeah. I am then going to also use. What the fuck this shit's called? Venomous Blades, mm -hmm. which adds 2d6 to my poison damage to my stuff. Nice. <sighs> Sad roll, but that's okay. Uh, ten. Okay. Two. Which one? Are there any that aren't hit? Uh, only the d20 has been hit. 
We're trying to kill the D20 first. All right, sure. D20 it is. Kills him. Nice. Next up is Bob. Do we get a sense of like where he was mid sentence? He's like, uh, they're on their way. They're about to get us. <laughs> I see that Ash uh, takes them out, and I and I note it. Mm -hmm. And I <laughs> hey, keep in a journal. <laughs> Not literally note, son. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a mental note. Uh, that's gonna be an 18 to hit. Yep. I'm gonna do the D100, I guess. Okay. Fuck them up. Are you hitting him with uh, my short bow? Okay. My borrowed short bow. That's a uh, five. Uh, do you have any decks? Oh, six. Sorry. Okay. Back to the top throne. Uh, you're up. Have a holy oh yeah, sorry. Hold person. I'm both of them. Okay. What are the, what's Whoa. your what uh kind of save and spell save sixteen. Here's People the thing. Fail. Last time there were a couple enemies that we just needed to sneak on by and take out. We slammed open a door and it ruined everything. So I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to hold them and let you guys finish them off okay. so that they can't yell out and yep. alert the whole camp because we're at the edge of the forest, right? Yep. So. They're held. They can't do anything. I'm assuming a 24 hits. Yep. Someone give me. And let me do, you, do you have advantage because they're held? Well, because I'm I'm hidden one. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Um, can I borrow 2d6 because I'm about to auto crit? Oh my god. You can't. You don't auto crit on non uh, on non melee attacks on incapacitated enemies. Well, never mind them. I want you to auto crit. I just also want to follow the rules, and the rules state that it's the melee attacks that auto crit, not. Okay, that is six, ten, twelve, seventeen damage. Word on a D ten or D one hundred. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm doing the D one hundred, and then I'm gonna hide again yeah. with a resounding thirty. Nice, Jesus Christ. Plus eleven. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. Um, Warren is going to do similarly. Beefs it, uh, but he has advantage. Am I close enough to get Beefs to it them? a little less. In a melee range. And then I, I give him a raspberry. Do you need any bonus action dashes or anything nice. like that? Uh, you're, your the raspberry gave, was that like yeah, first almost beat, like he, he, he almost loses the arrow a little too soon at the raspberry. Reach, but, uh, but then he like... And then, like, releases it after a second time. Um, <laughs> Warren, you gotta catch up. He does, so that's 9, 10, 15. He does the same amount of damage as you did, um, and he looks a little annoyed at that. Okay. <laughs> uh, Matt, you're up. Um, so, I'm, I'm gonna move 10, 20, 30. And I'm within 10 feet of this guy, right? Is he the one who's really messed up? Uh, yes. Darn it. That's okay. And I'm going to bonus action, turn my longbow into a halberd, which has 10 feet of reach, so mm -hmm. I can hit him okay. with the halberd. And I have advantage on the strike. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm asking. Person, uh, not oh, yeah, because you're it's held. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's going to be a 13 plus 9, 22 for the first strike. Mm -hmm. Um, and a 22 uh, for the second strike. Yep. Um, and so that's a... Uh, you want me to roll 2d10? So I will get that out. Okay. The first one does 8 plus 6, uh, 14. The second one does uh, 13 plus 6, 19 damage. Awesome. So that's with, that's with the crit, because it's been... So 2-2. Two, two. Yep, he is donezo. Okay. You have advantage because they are held? Yes. Yeah. Because they are uh, they are incapacitated. In that case, I'm going to use my sharpshooter, which means oh. I'm taking an automatic negative 5 to my current attack, and then mm. it adds 10 damage at the... If I Ooh, hit baby! Uh, it is their turn first, though. Oh, sorry. So I thought I wanted oh, to yeah. he, So they at the were, end of his were, turn, he makes a save to yeah, break out of it. But you had the surprise round. Right. And yeah. fails. But now it's your turn. Sorry. So it's still, they're All still... Right. It's all good. Yeah. Which is good. It's a sharpshooter time. Uh, so that would be 26 minus 5, so it's 21. Nice. Right. <clears throat> I like the sharpshooter because it's like you're like aiming for a particular part of the body. So, so two, I got seven, five. 17. Nice. I'm thinking throat. Yeah, I like it. 
Yeah. 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 I don't know. I'm thinking karate. Uh, it, it's, like, it's so right. brutal when a health person is just getting like blown up. It's like yeah. it's like just imagine like you're just standing there and it's like someone chops off your arm, yeah. shoots you through the neck, like watching your buddies die all around you. Yeah. Uh, Boggs, you're up. He's not dead. <clears throat> nope. I mean, everyone murked his friends. Now they just turned to him. Yeah. Uh, but he, they he are should held. be almost dead. He only took 17 damage. Oh, total? You're the Sorry. only person that attacked him. Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. So gonna, he's semi almost Yeah, I was kind of walk up to the white die or however. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. One, one past the. Uh, and I'm going to. Um, I'm just going to stare in his eyes. <laughs> Longingly. Um, you know what? No, 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 angrily. Um, I want, I'm, I'm enjoying watching him. Uh, Bleed out? Bleed out. Damn. I assume he's conscious, right? He yeah, knows his and family. actually, like, because you're, like, I wasn't going to say anything, mm -hmm. um, but since you're, like, looking directly at him, like, mm -hmm. he looks scared, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to text you something. That makes me happy. Um, I whisper, this I don't is know what's going to happen names, to right? all of your friends. <laughs> oh, my God. I can hear that right on my next one. These poor mercenaries, man. Y'all just hate them. They're just I don't doing touch their job. I saved three of their lives. Uh, yeah. I just ago. texted you. Uh, next, and I'll let you um, just read that, and you can say whether you end your turn or. No. Who's, who's turn is next? That isn't it's Kelly. Like, Facebook messages. Turn. Kelly, what's up? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Brian it's gets it. <laughs> I'm going to cast uh, Thorn Whip. Okay. Advantage? Uh... Because it's held? Yeah. Oh, Net man. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Do it. Six plus my wisdom ten. Uh, and Is then right? roll the second d6 because it's advantage. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, no, it's not because it's thrown up as a ranged attack. It's not a melee attack, right? Uh, I melee spell no attack, idea. actually. Oh, okay. My so bad. That's plus fifteen. Yeah, because spells have that whole thing where even if they are ranged, doesn't mean it's actually ranged. Yeah, <laughs> it depends on the spell. Yeah. yeah, it's still attached to me, so like. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. yeah. No, no, that like makes sense. sense. I, do, I it's just like a whip, know. except for you yeah. know. Yeah. Come on, Jerome. Sorry. Come up. Yeah. Cool. That didn't kill him. It's not the nope. fun kind of whip. Uh, does uh, the nineteen hit? Yep. Cool. Where's all my These six, are squishy ass magic users. Where if they had a chance to attack, you might get fucked up. Nah. 17. But That's what surprise rounds for. Is he still up? One second. Then I'm gonna hide. Uh, he is still alive. That's, nice turn. Turn. That's another 30 no. to hide. Jesus. No, it's Warren's turn. Darn it. Uh, can I... Can I, Kill like, him, Warren. can I, like, do like this? Like, stop attacking? Oh, he is not... I, I will tell you, he is not paying attention. Um, so he rolls to hit. Demolishes him. Yeah. Because he only had like three. Um, and when he gets the kill <clears throat> shot, he looks at you and he's like, I can't do it. The little thing with the thank you. I was like, I tried and then I failed. And he, but that's what he <laughs> And did. I actually look at him and go, you meant to do that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Lucky. Yeah, he almost, he almost did. But I guess like, uh, <laughs> he might have lost a tooth or two like while he was captured. So he can't like quite get that. Mine is not um, smaller anymore. So, yeah. All right. So. I'm going to investigate the body. Can I see any insignias on them or anything, like, denoting their allegiances <laughs> to who they, or whatever? Um, we'll let Boggs go first on That's that. 17. Um, what are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for anything, really, like a value, like in pockets and uh, scrolls. Yeah. Any, Do any of them have any wizard robes? Um, oh, yeah. What, how are they dressed? Yeah, so they are, because there was um, either maintenance or, like, just general soldiers, so they're yeah. in the soldier, not the maintenance uniform. Okay. Um, in their pockets, you notice certain, uh, like, just weird odds and ends that you've seen mags have. Um, not Like, nothing like, it's it's all kind of innocuous. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Okay. So just different components that Max, you've seen Max have. That's all. I, I don't have really no use maps too much like in the of components. No written orders or anything. Oh, okay. Um, you know what? There would be a map of like the, the area, like the the minefield, pretty much. So like where, like where in this area to, um, put something down. It doesn't like they marked where they specifically put theirs. They don't have exact locations of all the others, but like it'll be like, 
you know, like in the clearing in this area. I know where some are, but may, not necessarily where they aren't. Um, right? yeah. okay. Kelly, I have two questions. Mm -hmm. um, one, um, how old are these two men? Um, they look to be... Dead years old. Yeah. Um, probably like 30s. Two. Is there a concept of wedding rings and does either of them have them? Um, I don't think there would necessarily be a concept of wedding rings. Um, Does anything we find on the body suggest that either of these men as a family? Um, no, only because the only thing they seem to carry are things related to their job. There's probably something in there, like bunks. And what about, and including the other one, not, not the one, the one that we killed first? Mm -hmm. They, they all have similar components, all, and you can tell that they use magic the same way you do. Um, so it's only stuff related to what they're supposed to do on the job. Um, anything personal, um, you can't you can't find anything on their bodies. I don't know any of these people by name, right? I don't think so. Um, but you might um, roll a d20 and just tell me what number. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, you don't know anything about them. You just know that they were there, but you have seen them. Um, and you could, I'll let you make up what kind of people each of them are. Hmm. Um, Unless someone asks me, it's not really. Yeah. But you don't know any personal detail. Just like, oh yeah, they were kind of a dick, or they were kind of nice, or, you know, that's what you can answer if they ask. I'm going to go about tying up mm -hmm. one of them. Okay. Seems like overkill, but go on. They're dead. <laughs> And then I'm gonna cast yes. Revivify on them. Do you have that? What? Do you have a spell slot for yeah, that? Yeah, I do. What? I'm not. I'm not there right now. So. Um. Okay. I walk up. By the way. Uh, which one did you choose? I forget. Well, like we'll, each we'll one. It doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever just... one looked like he had a family the most. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, oh these are God. all mercenaries. What are you doing? Yeah. It's kind of a shtick. Yeah. Um. All right. You know, fine. This this one. I don't know if they. Come, I don't think he comes back conscious. That isn't my yeah. goal for him to for him to come back conscious. Yeah. He comes back. I lose twenty five percent of my HP. Mm -hmm. Current HP pool, which is yeah. third. I'm at full. So that's yeah. Thor's thirty eight divided by four. Uh, it's one second. I did just a, it's nine. It's it's about it's rounded down. Yeah. It's nine. So, so imagine yeah. I'm coming up. Um, oh, what if I'm still alive and I shoot him? No. <laughs> That would be awful. And I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast <laughs> a healing light on myself until I go back up to four. Okay. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I use four. I'm back up to full, so I don't need to have marked down anything. Max, what are you doing? Um. So I'm gonna leave this guy. He's unconscious. Looks like I'll be unconscious for a long time, right? Wait, what? The guy I revived. I mean, he just came back to life. Yeah, so, yeah. so he'll be he unconscious for again. quite some time. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I thought yeah. you guys didn't look like I'm, this. I'm just binding his hands with a small piece of rope, mm -hmm. and I'm leaving him there. Okay. The what are the, you doing, Max? At the edge of the forest? Me? Within earshot of the entire fortress? He's... He's not. He's not going to be talking anytime soon. They'll know we were here and gone before so, he wakes up. Uh, Ash is going to kind of roll, we, like roll his eyes in the background, and like uh, take some like pieces of cloth out out of like some <laughs> pocket and stuff it in his mouth and tie it around his face. Like, I mean, that's fine. The guy would be able to get that out when, yeah. like, if just his hands are bound. Listen. Yeah. Okay. Like, he's not even going to tie his hands behind his back. Us, us people who can do this like spectacular things. Right? You gotta stop fighting each other. There's a much bigger enemy out there. Okay? And, you know, so like, yeah, these guys are on the wrong side of this conflict. But they're on the right side of the bigger conflict. Are they though? Did you see my other message? I did not. I'm sorry. And I, I don't know, I'm just kind of sick so and part tired of, of part of what I was going to say about the investigation. We didn't have to, to kill these guys. I could fit into this dude's clothes. No. Oh. <laughs> they were So they that were I didn't stunned. necessarily look just, from yeah. a distance. Yeah. knocked them out. You, so, you, right, we didn't have to just blow them up. Right, right. Yeah, I also yeah. don't like it. So I'm going to put them on just because okay. a little bit of yes. camouflage, but enough. All right. Okay. How many hit Let's keep going. Have? I'm sorry? How okay. many hit points does this guy have? Currently zero. Okay. Warren, how do you feel about this? Uh, he goes, I want him dead. Okay. Um, I would kill him if not for Magic Maggie over here probably going ape shit if I try it. I mean, I'm, I'm on your side. 
I say he made his choice a long time ago, and I cast Thorn Whip on him again. Oh yes! my god! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Is that uh? Are you know? Uh, yeah, man, no. I would want to do an initiative to see okay. if you're able to. I'm getting it on this. It's um, eighteen. Send me a fourteen. Oh, what, what's twelve? Okay. Uh, see if you hit. Initiative. Uh, like see if you hit him, you have advantage because advantage, he's from yeah, it. Oof. Oh my no. god! Jesus Wait, is, so I have a question. Is melee an automatic? If it hits. If it yeah. hits. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That was really funny. Yeah, that was a one and a three. Uh, but good. then Franz is up. So what is Franz doing? I'm gonna grapple Maggie. <laughs> okay, do a god! What back. is happening? That is going to be a 19. 18. Okay. Um, okay, so my turn, I'll attempt to break out of the stupid fucking grapple. Hmm. That's a 12. Alright. Uh, you, yeah, you have to re-roll oh. it. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be a 13. Yeah, 13. Okay. Uh, bonus action cloak of fucking flies. A huge radiant <laughs> beam of fucking energy shoots out. Shoot. You take 5 damage. Okay. Well, that's, it's okay. And you take 5 damage, too. Right. And everyone dying, in the camp should hopefully be alerted. I mean, I don't think that it's still pretty thick things, uh, thick trees, so this human shit show is not... Confined. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, so. Roll an initiative. Like, are you going to stay what? out of this? Or? You, I'm not touching okay, anything. I'm just making sure. <laughs> I just got here, and they're like, have an invite, and he's like, I might just sleep back. What about Warren? Trees. What's Warren doing? Like, uh, Warren's just like... Oh, come on. Warren wants his guy dead. Warren would shoot him. I mean, he does, but, like, he also just <laughs> saw Maggie do that. Oh, okay. um, All right, fair enough. Like, that, that really is what it is, and he's too old for this shit. And the other thing, uh, he's not going to attack, <laughs> um, but he's going to uh. say, are we really going to fight over killing this bastard when we need to save all of our shit for those bastards out there? I know. And I look at Max. You're the one who's instigating conflict here. I'm just doing what I was set out to do. I attempt to get out of the grapple again. Oh, Foss, it's is it your turn? Is... Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, um... Yeah, that hits. That hits. Cool. I'll let so go then, of Max. At that point, he's back to death again. So. No, he fails two death saving throws. He's not dead. If we're going by official rules, right? We are, but I'm saying at this point he's dead because we need to move on to the next thing. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I want to snap his head off with my... Oh, no, at this whip. point, like, he... I mean, he's an inconsequential character, so... He's not you know inconsequential to me. Like, I'm not going to allow you to hurt Boggs. We just can't be fighting. I Did I try to hurt Boggs? I don't know what you were going to do. You know, you, uh... Did I try to hurt Box? I, there was I some aggression. There was I some aggression. I don't know what you're gonna do. do you, has he let me go? Yeah, like I, you're. Yeah. You're, uh, you, go. yeah, you cloak of whatever. So I imagine at that point, Franz does not want five HP ouches. I mean, it was time. instantaneous. The, the cloak of. I, oh, I just. Oh, him, right! I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, I let him go at the start of my turn, though. Yeah. After he died. That makes sense. So, now what? We need to get going. Let's roll some uh, perception, maybe, to see if we can see anybody at the, the gates. Cool. We'll where are we, actually? We never really established where we are. Um, you're you're the trees. Yeah, you're still in the trees. You can... You took the damage at the start of your turn when you were in it. Just, just so. In relation to the fortress. Like, we're near the back, we're near the No, it's not in. I'm sorry. Oh. I just looked it up. Where, <laughs> or where are we in relation to the fortress? Up. Are we um, near the back, near the gate? I'm going to say you're near the back. Okay. Um, near the receiving center. So we can see the, the receiving center. Mm -hmm. All right. Was the mine set up? Did they actually get it set up before they died? Uh, no, not that particular one. They, they were mid-setting up that particular mine when you murdered them. And then they, the guy stepped into the portal and you went to the next area. So, yes, this, this mine is here, but this was one that was already set up. The other two, oh yeah, they they were just so, patrolling. I have a I have a question mm -hmm. for to pose in character to you all. Mm -hmm. Shoot. Um, although I'm not normally for the desiccation of corpse corpses, uh, we corpse do side. have a humanoid 
thing to blow this up and then I could go in and be like, you got them, yay, they're gone, and then you guys have some idea. I like that idea. I don't take a lot of trust in you. Mm. How can we be honest, honestly be sure that you aren't going to... You can't. I, I mean... I, mean, I, could, I could tell you you can, but that doesn't actually mean that you can. We've put enough stake in him this far. We need... I mean, we cannot trust him right now. So That's fine. So what's step two, then? You go in saying, we got him. Well, then you could do whatever you had planned to do. Okay. And at least not... Then, then they think you're dead already? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, sure, that works. Does require. Seems pretty dumb to me. They don't know we're here right now. Well, they know your cup. Yeah, and we're just going in to break some instruments. Yeah, where are the instruments held? You know that. Uh, yeah. you would know. Um, because I wonder if they would file out to see the the the, the proof of our dead bodies, and we could attack them. Um, it's in this part of operations. Okay. Can we get? the map up briefly so I can not the map, the there. Cool. Okay. So well we could not do that. Then we could just infiltrate as is. Yeah. Um so is I'm assuming the gates still burned down. I mean I do kinda of want to see what happens when one of these explodes. <sighs> um do you know any the any alternative ways of getting in there besides the receiving center and the front gate? No. I mean, I had How heavily guarded is the receiving center, to your knowledge? Probably more now than it was when I left. Fair enough. <laughs> um, um, I kind of wanted. I kind of want to go hide near the receiving center, and then have someone detonate this mine and um, set up an attack for anyone who comes out. Can we move the mines? I don't think we can. No, no, no. Well, no, somebody stays behind and throws this body. We can even warn him to do that. Okay. For someone with some range, right? So draw people out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Let's draw people out, and then you said in front of the receiving center? We have to find a mine in front of the receiving center first. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, is there a mine? Go back to those. I, I don't think so. Oh no, it's this mine. Oh, in like front of the gate, those, where we yeah. are. Yeah. Okay. And okay. I'm gonna change and shift into their face. Okay, Bugs has one of them. You have a second set of clothes out of the three. So there's a third set still left to be taken. Do, do either? Well, of you I'm either? yeah, I'm changing from into Right. Them. I'm actually gonna yeah. And then I, without them, I'm just, just gonna approach the, the stupid camp. I'm gonna disguise myself as so you just start walking. Uh, the mage. Yeah. Okay. As a what? The I, guess, I guess we're going. Okay, do a um, uh, deception check or performance. Not performance. I guess deception. Or okay. what, what do you usually roll with your disguise kit? So I'm using this guy's self. Oh, spell. oh, I'm um, sorry. Yeah, okay. Then that's fine. Um, sorry, I thought you were using a disguise kit. Just no. This is me. So. Okay. Um, Bob, and Bob, what are you doing? Disguise wise? Yeah, like or uh, I'm so just, I'm dressed in the clothes. Like I, I just look, I look like a plant person yeah. with a normal clothes. But like, are you going with the trio over here, or are you going to hang back in the tree line to watch what's going on, or are you staying back with Warren, who's still on the? We're going to put one on the left. I don't know what Mags is doing. She seems to be sort of following her own tune. So I'm going. I'm going to go. I'm going to make my way to the to the uh, receiving center. Um, I mean, I could also take you in as prisoner. That's not a bad idea. Ah, do the old lead the Wookiee in, huh? Yeah. Trojan yeah. horse. Except at this time, that it's a Trojan plant. Like a dumb idea, but whatever. I'm not there. You're not. <laughs> um, okay. Like, I don't care what plan you all <laughs> want me to do. Just let me know. Um, That's how I feel I'm, I'm approaching the camp by myself. I mean, they are following you, so... Yeah. Yeah, unless you are, like, detouring yeah. from the, the receiving yeah. center, then we're... We're in front yeah. of the gate. No, no, no. no we're, oh, we're you are all at the tree line, and I, as a DM, am going to say you four have to come to a consensus to what's going on before you move forward. I think you should stay back with Warren, and we'll approach because we can be we're disguised. Okay. Um. Yeah, and then. Subterfuge. Then all right. 
Okay. All right. Sure. All right. So I will say because Max said she was going first, she will be the first person to arrive at the center. Mm -hmm. But the three of you are together while Bog stays back with Warren. Yep. All right. What do you do? I'm walking up. Someone should come approach me, or if they don't, then I'm just gonna keep going in. Okay. Uh, you walk into the receiving center, and there's some people, um, keeping uh, guard. I They're watching. We go through the gate, but that, that's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's, it's fine. You're, we can go through the receiving center. You're back at the receiving center right now. That's so. fine. We can go through the receiving center. Um, and people were working, watching, keeping an eye out for anything suspicious. And when the three of you come in, they go, how, how is it out there? There was a whole bunch of hell out there. Um, you found them? We escaped them. Shit, where, how, how, how far out are they? I think it was two or three traps back. I mean, we lost, uh, we lost the other guy. Okay. Um, uh, let me, let me go get the captain and, uh, okay. alert him. Perfect. Um, they... Run off and do their thing. What do you do? Are there any other soldiers around where we are? Uh, there's a, there was four. Now there's three. Um, the other three look concerned, but they know that they have to. They have jobs to do, and you know the one per They don't need a whole group of people to tell the captain something. Okay. I'll follow them to the captain. Okay. And I kind of like. I motioned these two to come with me. And then motion them to go to operations when we get outside. Okay, so just to confirm, so this is the person going towards the captain. Um, you are going with them towards the captain? Yeah. Okay. Um, one second. I Gosh. What's my name? <laughs> Roll. <laughs> uh, roll a constitution check to just like remember, rack your brain. Okay. So he, he looks at you and says, I like how you assumed I knew. And just um, keeps <laughs> um, Something that I, as the DM, failed to do is they do have little name tags oh. over here. So oh. okay. um, I looked down. What, yeah, yeah. What, was, what was mine to say? Um, John. Okay. So. Larry. Larry. Do we know what the other guy's name was? I look at mine. <laughs> Garth. Nothing. Huh? Garth. Garth. Okay, so I'm Larry. Okay, so Garth is there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. you two... Oh, wait, sorry. I put Boggs on the map by accident, not Ash. Yep. Uh, so the two of you are going into ops? Yep, going And ops. then you're going to that. Okay. So. I'm going to say... You're over here. It's going to take you a little bit longer. You're inside. I'm going to describe what... There is first before I describe what happens in the captains. Um, so, um, in there, there's a big, big ass like uh, lizard. Um, <laughs> just first off, that's right, and it like it runs up to you, um, like as if it's going to like jump to greet you. Uh, but then another person starts playing uh, one of the pan flutes there. How's it going? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, what does it sound like? It sounds nice. Oh, okay. um, it's not like Ocarina of Time. <laughs> yeah, um, and it like. You watch like the like the light from the lizard's eyes kind of like go dim, as it like just is captured by these pipes, and then it just sits and waits. And I'm such a good boy. <laughs> um, and then the other lizards around them, because there's about like ten lizards in here, mm -hmm. um, and all of them just relax at that point. Um, and do a perception check. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be a uh, seventeen. Okay. Um, along here um, is a heavy safe. Okay. Um, and because, and like, there's, this is the only like, uh, like there's a wall over here. So there's like a three room of operation. Mm -hmm. um, now that you've, you're inside and you realize from between last so time and this rooms. time. Okay. So if Ash said that <clears throat> the pan pipes are in here and you don't notice any pan pipes around here, that it's probably right, in right. there. So there's one person in this room with 10 lizards. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pause. I'm going to let you two decide what you want to do. Okay. There while I go over to Eric. Um, so, the, uh, sorry, Boggs, here. That's fine. Bit. 
Um, so, uh, they bring you into the captain's quarters, um, and it's got just plans everywhere. Um, and the captain is, you know, kind of standing very regally, um, staring, uh, at the wall with his back to the door. Um, and the person, uh, clears his throat, uh, and he goes, Captain, uh, we, uh, we have contact with the enemy. The stuff. Um, any gestures like, to you, um, since you were part of the group that, that was able to get them, like, uh, have really contact really with them in some fashion. Uh, so the and captain turns, mm -hmm. uh, very slowly, and, like, and he's got, like, this grizzle, grizzly scar, uh, going across, so you can tell that he's been through a lot yeah, of they food. might say, um, um, so probably not someone who intimidates easily. Um, and yeah. he goes, yeah, speak. Good evening, captain. mobilizing fast. Right. Where's the salute? Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so. I would have saluted. That was part yeah. of the good evening, Captain. Yeah, um, I just felt like being a jerk. Uh, no, that's fine. Um, yes, sir. Um, we were, you know, setting up more of mines, our traps in the forest, um, like commanded, and suddenly, boom, boom, arrow, arrow. Now, you know us. We're, we're issuing a fight. But then, the magic. And they held Garth in place. And just obliterate him. He was mincing when they were done with him. Uh, so and we, he paused and he's nodding his head. He goes, we, thought continue. Be, we thought it would be more advantageous to retreat and let you know that they were on their way rather than um, try to continue the fight and possibly lose our lives for absolutely nothing in that case. Um, and he goes, You're lucky you made yourself useful. Um, I but in the future, I'd rather you die than retreat. Yes, like sir. a coward. <laughs> um, he just straight up, he's like, you You are lucky that you have, you know, said pretty much the right things. And um, when you said, like, retreat, like, um, like, he did, like, put his hand towards his sword as if to, like, debate whether or not, like, he wanted to just finish <laughs> you off. Wow. But because you had, like, giving him information, you got off. From. So, Boggs is behind the retreat, like the receiving center over here, the gate's over there on the other side, mm -hmm. and that's the way, like the way I'm pointing right now is mm -hmm. the way towards the village, right? Yes. So I'm going to mm -hmm. say that we saw them towards the village mm -hmm. over, like, over there, rather okay. than where we came from in the receiving center. And how many are there? Well, it was dark, sir, um, but I would wager to guess um, probably five or six. Now, Based goes, on uh, what kind of magic? Well, um, how uh, based on the question, can I do an insight check on how much this captain knows about magic? Uh, yeah. Okay. That's going to be an insight check of eighteen. Um, he, you could tell that he does not know much about magic personally, but he's seen certain kinds of magic, so um, he may or may not understand. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try to uppity technicalize my, ma okay. my descriptions of magic. And I'm going to say primarily it looks like they were using, uh, evocation and enchantment magic. Um, but it's hard to tell when they take, when they take out a man that quick, you have to, you have to bet that there might be some other kinds of uh, stuff going what, what on. What kind is, uh, this, this epochimation? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Sorry, sir. Um, that um, would be the kind of thing. Would you like me to demonstrate? Uh, and he goes, that won't be necessary. Okay, uh, the kind of thing like shooting a fireball out of your fists or mm -hmm. um, shooting lightning. A lot of times it's something that's wheeling the elements in a very direct, um, violent fashion, sir. Okay. Um, he goes, all right, uh, rally the troops back in. Uh, we need to, uh, we need to take out the weak. And then he just leaves that at that. He's expecting you to rally everyone back in. And then uh, you could choose whether or not to see what he means, uh, but that's all he says. Yes, sir. And I'll leave and I'll see what the other two guys are doing as we leave. Okay, let's pause because uh, I'm going to say what they do in the next interaction will get you to where right. you're at. So, what do you right. choose? I don't know what they're doing. Anymore. Okay, <laughs> um, so is this like a utility worker or is he like a soldier? Uh, he's, he's wearing a soldier thing. Okay. I'm assuming that I know him since I was training people. Yeah, mo and most people are a uh, soldier. There's very few utility. Okay, just the last time we just came across most utility. Okay, cool, 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 yeah. cool, cool. Because okay. they were working on the, uh, the what's it called? Ticks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, some roll deception. 
So okay. put that out there right now. Uh-huh. 17. Uh, <laughs> right, because deception's insane. All right, uh, 32. Oh, my God. Holy sh... Okay, I mean, he's going to believe you. There's no <laughs> way. I mean, it would, you would have to do, like, literally, like, even, like, a 30 is, like, the DC check for, like, almost impossible. So, yeah, like, I this know. motherfucker is going, like, you could tell him. Totally. Like, it's like totally. you're actually dead right now. <laughs> yeah, <he's> like, Am I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, say, Brandon, good job learning those tunes. And he's like, thanks. Sounded really good, soldier. Um, we have unfortunately found out that there are people, um, among us who are a part of the enemy, and, um, the flutes may have been, uh, compromised, and so we need to check, of course, as the entertainment, I was never given the codes to the safe, but I was wondering if you could help. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're the one that knows these things the most, I mean, I only learned this last week, thanks to, uh, uh, I mean, I learned from someone else, but then when you got here, it, it really helped uh, more. So, yeah, absolutely. And he just psh, doesn't question, opens cool. that shit up. Cool. And, uh, and soldier, um, they're and he starting. Goes, uh, do you know? Do you know who? Unfortunately, no. We're just here to uh, to check the flutes, make sure everything is fine. So I don't know. It's not you. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyways, uh, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> they're like giving us like. Eyes. It's like, Brandon, um, you need to go rally up uh, and work with the other uh, lizards. We have this room under control. Um, if you could make sure that no one um, gets into this, that'd be great. I got you. Thank you. Uh, and he... Out. Done. Do I have a moment where they're not... where I'm not being looked at as like... as I'm with these other two guys, but I'm kind of like in front of me? I mean, the person who came with you is walking with you because they're expecting to rally together at this point. So, um, he's planning to escort you back to, um, receiving so that you can go out and rally in troops from the outside while he lets people, like, as, as you walk by, know what the new set of plans are. How many loots are in the safe? Um, so, Fenry sold 50. Okay. Um, do a perception check. Okay. That's a crit. Nice. Ooh, um, you can one. tell that there's uh, five out right now. Like Rain Man. Um, but there's, they're pretty much, they almost entirely are in here. Okay. Um, I'm going and to take... And one of them went out with the guy. Like, he was just, because he knows that his is working, so he right. just walked So out. I'm taking three of them, mm -hmm. personally. Um, you want to want to burn them, stab them? How do you want to do this? <laughs> Stabby stab. Um, no, uh, well, breaking them might cause the least amount of. I mean, burning creates smoke. It does. It's a bit. It's a real big problem. Okay. Do you want to like throw them all over the floor and Wait, stomp on them? What does this safe look like? Um, it's like made out of stone. Um, and it's like almost like a. You know, it kind of looks like that. Just imagine that fucking thing behind you. Okay. Um, Actually, I have a better idea. Why don't I just take... I have... Um, I've got scissors. We just... Oh, no, they're flutes. Never mind. I thought they were elites. Um, <laughs> never mind. That's, <laughs> we're still on the strings. I mean, two how easy are these to break? Like, I imagine that since this was created by a magic user, that they are relatively... They like, are. I'm just going to, like, try and smash one against the wall. Like, yeah, let's try, let's try it. Let's try smashing them. I, I was going to suggest river dancing on them. <laughs> I mean, well, here's the thing, the, like, yes, they're magical, but they're also, like, musical instruments that are, like, um, delicate. Right. Um, so oh, the right, so pamphlets are usually tied together. Are these tied together, or are these glued, or, like, how um, are they... They are tied together, but, I mean, if you just untie them, then they could put them back together. But yeah. they're, um, when you throw it, it clanks, but when you try river dancing on it, it crumbles. Cool, let's so. spread them all over the floor for river dancing. Dual performance checks? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> That's going to be a good, fat 13. 20. Okay, you do a better job uh, than... You know. That's because you're a bard and you're but I'm Yeah, but, but I'm also wanna, a bard. I'd like so to think I'm having okay. more fun, though. Okay. <laughs> you probably definitely are. Yeah. Okay, so do you leave immediately after... No, we're going to sweep them all up uh -huh. and put it back in the... Um, actually, can I, can I rig the save to change the code now that it's open? Um, you can do, do an investigation check. Ooh, that's a crit. Okay, then yes, you could change the code. Cool, I'm going to change it. Okay, 
So you sweep them and you change the code. Okay, let's pause because that will take some time. Yeah, that's fine. So Mags is going to get to do something in the meantime. Of course, yes. So Mags, what are you doing? Um, I have some walking out into the woods with this other guy. Okay. Uh, well, he stops one at the receiving center because he's he's not a scout. He's just t telling everyone as he gets to the receiving center what to do so that all the moving people within the compound are telling each other. But hmm, his I station also took is a in. Loop. Sorry, I didn't say that. Okay, I'll, that's fine. Um, so he stops at his station in the receiving, receiving center. It's your job to make a, to do a message and get everyone who's out right now. And you don't know how many and where, but by the way that they um, described it, there, there must be some sort of messaging system that they assumed you would know how to do to get everyone who's out back in. That's all. What can I see from the tree line of this? Um... At this point, you would just see Mags coming back because the guy stopped at the receive, receiving center. So, um, um, so what I do is um, I'll take that guy who's walking with me and I'll say, um, I think Before this, you leave? Yeah, cause I, yeah, because he's walk, not walking out with you. Yeah, I'll walk, well, I guess I'll just walk up the front. Uh, <clears throat> um, um, Let's go back to Bob's. Um, well, okay, while like I'm you walking have back, I'll just I'll shoot the shit um, with the other guy and say, "You think my head's already gone?" Because I don't, I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, weed out the weed. Oh no, that's oh you're like chatting about like gossiping about the boss. Mm -hmm. Um, he goes. Uh, I mean, I don't think that's what he meant, but I mean, he can be it is kind of cryptic at times, can't he? Yeah, but I mean, you you kind of beefed it, didn't you? Yeah, I did a little bit, and I, I kind of just want to mm -hmm. with the hand that's facing away from him. Mm -hmm. I want to conjure my. Um, my my mm -hmm. my pack weapon into my leg, just like like put it into my leg, conjure it into my leg to wound myself. Mm -hmm. Can I? Should I make it? Are you like hand? showing him that you're no, doing that? No, I'm trying to like make it appear as though I'm wounded, so like and I uh, need help. Okay. Um, do a performance check or deception check. Or slide it. I'll, I'll do deception. That'll be a twenty-two. Okay, and also roll your damage without modifiers. No, that's a roll. Wait, like, that's a, like, well, yeah, are, it's what a, packed weapon are you? Are you doing a dagger? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We'll do three. We'll do three. So, like, I was just saying, like, the thing where, like, you drop it and it doesn't actually roll. Mm -hmm. So I thought that that shouldn't count, but it's fine. We'll just do that because I was the higher one. Um, so I take three damage. Okay. And then I'm going to dismiss my packed weapon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen, man, I need your help doing this, like, and then, like, I'll show him, like, my wound, and mm -hmm. I'll be like, you know, I was trying to hide it from the boss, but, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing so hot, they did hit me a couple times. Uh, he shakes his head, like, nah, like, that's your job to mess up. I'm not, I'm not getting on his bad side. All right. Like, he believes that you're fucked up, mm -hmm. and he believes that you probably are not good walking out there, but your problem is not his problem. Alright, so I'll just walk out there then, I guess. Okay. So. Alright. Uh, you guys are finished with your thing, but anyway, Bugs, you see Mags walking out. How do you greet her? I'm not going or... to Bugs. Oh. No. Where are you going? I'm just going in to the tree line, but to the left. Okay. And He's... then I'm going to slowly circle around to the uh, front gate. Okay. I look at Warren. Mags, what the fuck is say, she doing? Uh, what is this? Okay. What should we do? Um, should we stay here? Or do they need help? I... Uh, I don't know. I, I want to wait it out for the others. The What's others going on? Inside? Or do you have... No, uh, your, your other oh, buddy. Okay. And that fuckface that uh, showed up. <laughs> Which one's the fuckface? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously meaning, Ash. Meaning Ash. Come um, on. So it's Ash, so um... Is there anything else we should take care of, preemptively? 
think so. Want to fuck up the tanks? As I get around, is there anyone in the guard uh, towers? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sneak around and just dismantle them somewhere. Let's see what we can do. Um, is there? So we step outside. Mm -hmm. Um, what's going on outside right now? They are prepping those tanks. Well, that's probably not a good idea. Like they they are getting it ready to go. Okay. Well. And it's also like middle of the night still, so like do I they see are working else around the clock. Patrolling the perimeter and walking to the front gate. Um, do a perception check. With disadvantage, because mm -hmm. it's night. It'll be, oh, I'm at 20, but then at 15 plus 1, so 16. Okay. Um, you see footprints where if you follow them, you probably could find someone if you dig around in the woods, but it's too thick for you to be able to, like, see exactly where someone may or may not be. Mm -hmm. Because like each um each check, like it's a mile divided by five. So you're looking at almost a almost a quarter miles worth of just straight up woods. Sure. So um back to you two, what do you do? Hmm. Is there anything else that I that I know about that would be like easy to sabotage? Well well, I'm, well not necessarily easy, but like what else do I know about this compound that might be of advantage? To There's us? the lizards underneath. The cages, my cages, my cages, my cages, my cages, my cages, my cages of lizards. You would not have known about that because you were not introduced to that. Right. So. So I turned to you in character and I said, I mean, we can go fuck up the cages of lizards. I mean, there's, like... Well, the yeah, like, it's... They can't control them anymore, so... So I mean, except 50. for brand. Except for 50. Yeah. I mean, and 50 is nothing compared yeah. to the... No, it's not, it's not 50. It's 10 per, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought you, five meant, of them I thought you meant Brendan, uh, or Brandon, whatever you call oh, yeah. him. Um, he can control 10. So I thought that you meant like, oh, yeah, he can control 50. No, no, no. I meant total. We have 50. Yeah. I mean, so what? They attack the town with 50 dog-sized lizards? True. What I'm worried about is them just setting them hog wild. And there's no control. I mean, did you did you see that one that came up to you like it was a puppy? Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, are they naturally like they're not just gonna attack people? They're in their natural habitat in these marshes. The thing that would happen, they're not gonna go running for the town. They're just gonna fuck some stuff up in here, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna go then be an invasive species. Oh, uh, what does Mags do in the meantime? Say so while you're talking. Yeah. No. Yeah. For sure. What is Max doing in the meantime? I'm waiting at the edge of the forest um, with my... And I'm kind of just trying to get a beat on the guys in the tower and I'm getting ready to potentially create a distraction if our friends who are still in the camp need it. Sure thing. Gotcha. Um, they're looking out. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So we um, could just let them loose, nice. maybe? Yeah, let's have them run them up in camp. Because, I mean, we can um, control pretty much all of them now. And actually, one is going to separate and go, mm, for you. hold tight. I'm going to check We have a yeah, fourth and give it for each. Um, um, <clears throat> Mags, Warren, Warren shows up by you, um, and he goes, what's going on? I figure that uh, I'm obviously talking like yeah. the guy that I'm disguised as. Um, I figure that... Our friends are just kind of stuck in there. I don't see them having it. I have a reason to go out because I guess I'm supposed to be informing everyone to come back in because I talked to the captain. Um, salty fucker. Um, and I think our friends are going to need a distraction to get out, so I'm ready to make a distraction and bolt here. And I'm the one who can do the most physical things, especially at night between all of us. And so I'm ready to do that here. Okay. Um, so uh, here, here's, here's what goes. Um... You do your thing, that will be, uh, I'm going to go back to Bob's, and we'll take that as a cue for us to do our thing. Um, and as soon as uh, that thing happens, we cut and run. That's the because plan. Because we have to trust our friends that they can get out with that amount of distraction. Of course. And he goes. Okay. You too. Um, so we're walking through the encampment. Do we mm -hmm. notice? Oh, I tell Warren, give him. 30 minutes max. 
Yeah. Yeah. So it's like thirty Perfect. minutes pass by. We're just doing the distraction and bolting at that mm -hmm. point. Going over to the question mark room. Do we see anybody yeah. through the window? Is there anybody in there right now? Um. Let me just think of that. No, actually, because they're kind of short-staffed here. So okay. everyone is either um, on the tanks or maybe some of them are sleeping. Some of them are out. So right okay. now that part is not taken care of. Cool. You ready to see this shit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go down. Yeah. Um, so when you go down, the last time you are here, there wasn't anyone. Mm -hmm. This time there is one person who's just slopping food into the dragon, not, I say dragon, lizard cages. Okay. Um, and just having no care, it's just like, all right, we got to keep them alive. Yep. Here's the... Soldier! Um, and he goes to attention, and he turns, and he goes, uh, oh, wait, we're the same We're the same level. Who am I about to salute you? Uh, what's up? Uh, we've been sent down here to make sure that the inst we're instruments are ready to go. Uh, we've been hearing... Were you down here for to make sure the instruments are ready to go? They're upstairs. No, we're testing them. Uh, where we have a breach, we're taking care of things. Breach? Yes, we have a theory because of what happened. Mm. How many hours ago? Mm. When, whenever it happened. Um, we, we need to make sure everything is tip-top. We've checked the instruments. Now we just need to test them. Okay. Uh, testing goes uh, on upstairs, though. Let's... We need to test on larger numbers. Uh, yeah. Make a uh, deception check. Okay. Can I help? You in can. Any? That is a, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll that. Lucky <laughs> point. That's not much better. Um, how does help? Do I just roll or? He has yeah. advantage. Or if you're just helping him, he has advantage. Yeah. Okay, so I am just helping. Him. I'm not okay. saying anything at this point. So without a he luck, took it, and uh, so I'm just. Well, you, you did a luck point. You so already guess... announced it. So what was your? Well, if I have advantage now. Yes. Well, no, I'm just, I'm just saying like. If without without advantage. Oh. So I rolled once. Yeah. I didn't know I was getting advantage, so I used a luck point. Yeah. And what was the luck point? It was two. Okay. Right. So, so now, now you're, you're helping with, advantage. with the advantage. Okay. So, <laughs> roll so what do you what do you say to? Uh... Yeah, you know, oh hell yeah! There we um, go. that's so much better. That's going to be a twenty-two. Okay, and I'm just curious, what does your character say to help convince him? Because he's like, fuck, bigger numbers. Like we already know. Um. So what do you say? Um. It's not up to me what the captain says. He just sent me down to get some lizards. Okay, <laughs> I dig it. And he uh, believes. He goes, all right, uh, you need to get a pipe? Oh, no, I've got one. Okay. Do you have a pipe? Uh, no, okay. not on me. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, we'll let, if you want to go upstairs, we'll let you know when we're done down here. Okay. Uh, you, you want to feed them for me? Sure. Just leave the bucket yes. at the door. We'll take care of it. He's like, all right, fuck these things. Done. <laughs> out. Okay. Alright, let's let some let's go. I'm gonna lock the door down here for a minute. Oh yeah. So we're so, ready to Yeah, so we don't um, get any planking happening. Yeah, so um just to describe it because you were in here when we described it, it's like a a really steep staircase uh mm. down, like almost a ladder. But um so like, the lizards will be able to climb up, but it's, like, difficult. To, like, lock up, to shut up. Okay. Yeah. I gotcha. No, are fine. they looking, like, aggressive or anything? What's How are they reacting to us being down there? Um, if anything, they're kind of, like, scared of people. Okay. Um, because, like, this, like, you could, uh, they have a very different demeanor from the one upstairs because it was charmed. And even when it was, like, not as charmed in that moment, it was still friendly. Mm -hmm. So, like, the guy just played it again to reinforce his charm, not that the dragon was uncharmed and then charmed. Okay. Um, yeah. So these ones are very much, like, scared animals. Scared caged animals. Yeah. Right? How many of them would you say there are? <laughs> well, I mean, How many cages? 500. Let's just say yeah. Right. I was going to say, yeah, 500. Because if they, if they had 50... Instruments, then they can well, control five hundred. What I was yeah. thinking was like closer to a thousand, but like some of them are dead at this point. Right. Oh. Like so, because they're just caged and left That's down a, there. So really annoying. Yeah. yeah. So, so <laughs> shall we just start unlocking them? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. We're all right. I'm start. going to say you guys. Uh, are you unlocking like all of them? Yeah. We're just yeah, as fast as I can go. I think we're going to start from the back, move I was, forward. That was my next question, yeah. and then I'm going to say just make a strength check. To uh to be able to get to the door Unnatural first. Unnatural twenty. Nice. Uh uh, just a strength check. Yeah. 
14. Okay. I'm going to say that you're able to get out ahead of the lizards. Half of the lizards get out before you get out. That's fine. So, that's going on. What do you do? <laughs> Short the door. Um, <laughs> would um, I know how, like, the... I don't think you would have heard anything yet. When I see the lizards, that's yeah. when I... But, that's, yeah. That's do I get a cute. sense of... Yeah. How the loot works, and uh, not sorry, the pants loot works in the sense of like how to control these things. I don't think you would be able to yet because you have to be attuned to it. Right. You're attuned to your loot, right? And you can play your loot, but the pan pipe's not so Ash, much. Can you key these in to start attacking? Obviously, you can only do 10, but maybe the rest will follow suit. Mm -hmm. Do I have an ability? Do I have to attune to this instrument I would first? Is it like a 24 hour thing? I'm going to say that. You can use it once before you attune to it, um, so you can't like use it and then use it on a separate set. But because you've been teaching everyone this stuff, you can use it once. Um, you're going to get ten. Yeah. With that. Heck yeah. Do I need okay. to roll anything? Just uh, no. It? Like you play it and you have ten lizard buddies. Ten lizard buddies. Oh yep. man, I'm gonna keep these lizard buddies forever. So, <laughs> are you? <laughs> um, but yeah, so you got you got them, um, and you are so. Just to give this, like, they just fucking explode out of this tiny ass little hut. Like, yeah. the walls are coming down. They're coming, <laughs> like, they're coming yes. through this, the the doors and the windows and the this and that. And then you start hearing shouts, like the lizards are getting out. Like, so you hear it before you see it. And then shortly after that, you just see lizards running amok. <laughs> and we, is there light on the guy in the guard tower? Uh, there's a lantern. So you'd be able to like see him. <laughs> also, but though, like man. I love it. <laughs> okay, um, I'll take two shots. I'm gonna turn back into May and <laughs> well, before all this, and then I'll take two shots at the guy in the guard tower, and then get behind a, a big tree. Okay, I'm going to uh, just because there's so many moving parts. Roll a d12. We're going to uh, just see how well that action goes. Okay. Uh, what is Bob's doing? He's is so, gonna. Um, Okay, so it goes, it goes okay, he, but he's not, he's not dead, he's just wounded, he gets knocked back, but you're able to uh, go back in the trees. Has Warren made it back to me yet? Yeah, he, he relayed, uh, once there's a distraction, you make your distraction, we okay, wait cool. at max 30 minutes and we I'm call I'm gonna look him. at Warren and say, well, I guess, I suppose that's our distraction. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think that was your friend, uh, your, your angry friend, it might have been the ones inside. I'm gonna drag the, uh, the body and throw it in the... <laughs> Oh my god. So it sets off that. What's it look like? What does it do? Um, it so literally it explodes. Like, it's just... Does oh. he have to make, like, a deck saving throw, or...? I mean, you can do a strength check, but, I like, Warren would be helping you. So, like, unless they both roll Throwing in that a one. body, like, I don't know how you could throw a body more than, like, ten or five feet. Right, but it triggers in the thing. Oh, it's just like... Pfft. Yeah. Oh, so there's no shrapnel. No. Just well, that's up. unfortunate, because that would be so much gore everywhere. It would, My but god. I mean, it's like a straight up, like... Gotcha. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, far, what, what do they see? Just like meat flying and up through the forest? Yeah, I mean, it's just. Crash it back down. I'm trying to imagine. Sorry. I'm yeah, no, imagine. it's like, uh, it's almost like force damage. So, like, it's just uh, almost like a subwoofer just puts it up and then back down with a sickening, like, crunchy splat. I feel like this is how gods play whack a mole. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but what's like so there's a there's a flash of light, there's a loud noise. Okay, so what are you two doing now? Um, so did we establish that they're all over the compound now? They are all fucking over the compound and they're like leaving. Like there's the few people with pan pipes are trying to like do but like after a while they realize like we're just getting to high ground. Cool. We're gonna do you wanna go to the receiving center? Cool. Um, we're gonna walk, we're gonna like, like everyone else because they're muscle around, we're gonna like go yeah. to the receiving center. Um, mm -hmm. Boston, is there anybody in the receiving center? Um, there's one person on guard, the rest have left. Okay, I just turn, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Get out there! Uh, do a persuasion check. Uh, that's gonna be an unnatural 20. Uh, he's, oh, okay. Um, but he doesn't go like, outside to do anything, he's just turning to, oh, he's almost like guarding the door more than anything to make sure that nothing gets out over here. Mm -hmm. um, so he's not going out into the fray, he's just on the opposite side of the door. Yeah, that's what door. I want. I just, I don't want him in the room anymore. Yeah. That's it. Okay. okay. Um, what are we doing in the receiving center? <laughs> oh, we're just going to meet up with everybody now. We're just escaping. Okay. Okay. Unless you wanted to do something more. No. 
Cool. I just I just wasn't sure. Oh. <laughs> okay. Unless you um, want to go assassinate the captain. How much do I dislike the captain? I mean, he's a douchebag, but like. <laughs> no, we should regroup. <laughs> we, we should, should regroup. regroup. Yeah. I don't want to push hard. Yeah. <laughs> We've done, um, gone really well so far. <laughs> yeah. So you regroup with uh, Boggs and Warren. Yes. You go... As soon as they run out, I cast Entangle in a in a. A brown does? No, no, no. Oh, I'm like, no. You're, you've made it out, so now I am blocking off any sort of tail that you might have. Nice. We, nice. We're, gu we're Gucci. Um, I don't know that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, can I, like... It doesn't matter. We're fast enough. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Okay, uh, where's Mags? Is there anything flammable? Besides so the gate's gone She came now, out of the receiving else. center and walked around the um, other way. Like, I, the I things know, are made... The guard towers do have wood roofs. At least set them on fire. <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, I, like sacred flame. No, much. create bonfire in both of them. That'll actually set anything flammable. So, but okay. suddenly the, set that off, the, the wow. tops of the things okay. are on fire. It cool. was cool. Yeah. We uh, I'm leaving. We uh, we unleashed all okay. lizards. Holy shit! All of Are you them. Going back to the farm. <laughs> you know, I actually sure. come to think of it, I've been okay. watching them crawl out of the top. Of the um. So, are you going straight to the farm? We're going. To yeah, that was the plan. Okay. Okay, I guess we're going straight to the farm. Megs okay. knows where we're going. Okay, so running. Uh, we're, we're running up to 4.30, so mm -hmm. um, we'll try and wrap up this part for now. Um, uh -huh. So you get to you get to the farm, um, and Warren's a little out of breath, and he's like, man, I'm fucking tired. Um, yeah, you're old. It's been a long day, man. Goes like that. Um, a win he, for the resistance, though. Yes, uh, and he looks to you A win for the land. And uh, finally he's like, so, oh, I have ten lizard friends. You do. <laughs> Any Wait, are they writable? Oh, um, no, uh, they're not. For halflings, maybe. Oh, <laughs> uh, but oh, one second, I'm just uh. For the something. children. Um. So, here's something interesting that happens, though. Um, the Warren's about to ask. Um, like uh, so like. The lizards, like he's he wants to hear the story, um, but like for now, an ace uh, come to greet you, um, but they just go dead silent um, when they see the group of you. Um, How are you guys doing? Is everything all right? Um, there's a long pause, and then she goes, "What's with them?" The you mean these guys? We wanted to make sure they got out. Yeah, we're, we just rescued a big group of them. This is who we could get out, though. Yeah, who's remaining? Uh, probably good, like, I want to say, like, 500? There was a lot. We got to get them. That's, that was, this Most was part one. Most of them will one. be able to get out. Out. Most All of the them are getting out. Um, everything, but they have off with, the enemy only has five flutes left. Yeah, these, these hand flutes here, they can control these things. Things? Uh, these things. I'm these using things. it as a colloquialism. These lizards. Um, Who eat get the names. point. Get the point. This um, is not so hard. No. <laughs> um, These beautiful creatures. Uh, and she goes, "We have to save the fifty that remain." We absolutely. We're we're working on it. We're Most free. of them will be able to get out by themselves. Already crawling over the walls. And I mean, I'm assuming those fifty will be coming to us. Annoyed. Yeah, we can we can save them then. Uh, she nods, at Vin, but she's oddly quiet. And so she goes for and not, sits down. For now, I, I understand. Um, but we're we're a small force. We did what we could today, and we're we're, we're lucky we were able to do what we could do. Uh, she nods. She sort of understands, mm -hmm. uh, but she's still bothered. Mm -hmm. um, Can I roll insight to like to understand more about why she's bothered? Yeah. I'll text it to you. How's Ace reacting to this? Very similarly. Okay. Uh, 23. Ace, did you used to be like one of these guys? Uh, I just texted uh, Leia, but uh, pause and then a nod. So we're we're going to try our best. Uh, and um, they look to you and they go, are you controlling them? 
I'm going to try to get them out and as protection later, but I can let them go if you would prefer. Yeah, I'll let them go. He, they, do, do I know how? Um, <laughs> yeah, you can just spell it at will, okay, I would cool. say. Okay, cool. Then that, that's what happens. Ugh. Okay. Um, Sorry. There's a little no. bit of mayhem in the in the house at first, um, but then the uh, the two dragonborns just start, like, clicking and making these, like, you know, Jurassic Park noises at the lizards, and they just, like, stop for a moment, um, and then they lead them to the door, um, and then the, dra the little lizards go out. Okay. Um, one second. Uh, okay, cool. Um, it is really early right now, so do you want to do that first thing in the morning, or are you knocking on doors? We'll see um, so, so, or something right now. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm really with fun. Warren. Warren is up. Yeah. I would imagine, I, I would I would wake uh, my mom's up. Yeah, yeah. What was it? Kasula. Kasula. How many more people would sort of, are inside that, um, Inner group. Um, I would say there's probably about two dozen in the inner group. Okay. Um, but there's like across different farms. Um, okay. and Warren would go, listen, buddy, I agree with you, but um, day. Um, so, uh, but here's the thing, like you don't need sleep to rest. You just need rest. Like you don't need sleep, but you mm. need to rest for your spell slots. Right, right, right. So you're not going to get exhaustion if you stay up all night, but you won't replenish your spell sl slots or your health. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not thinking so. staying up all night, but mm. yeah, maybe it's not worth waking everybody up. Um, okay. I just go tell Kasula. Uh-huh. Uh, what happened? Uh, and get her, and then I'll, and then I'll rest. Okay. Well, Sounds I'll good. rest when everybody else is resting. All right. Do you do anything? This is, uh, like, no one knows who you are, uh, but they treat you with, you know, friendly enough grace, because you're with them. It looks like you did something important. <laughs> you know? It looks like the He still just looks like the disheveled bard, as if he just got out of the room. Um, <laughs> Nothing else uh, Kasula goes, uh, I, I don't know where you are. I I could uh, get a bedroll out and you could sleep in the living room if that's okay with you. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. And she gets that and she goes to Franz and she goes, uh, you do a guest room? We'll have uh, breakfast in the morning. That sounds divine. Alright. Let's put a pause to that. 4.30. Thoughts? Oh man. Ever since last session, I didn't I, I wanted to unleash the lizards. <laughs> it just didn't feel like appropriate last time. Uh huh. Well, I'm glad that you waited because um, it was. A, I feel like last session everything went wrong in the compound. Yeah, that's that's why I didn't. And then this session in the compound, everything went okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would say so. I think every single person that went in like did like the gold they had, and that was awesome. We even found new goals. I know. <laughs> We're just like, We're gonna do the stuff, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> River yeah. dancing. It sort of crippled them, I feel like. I mean, like, they still have their tanks. Mm -hmm. yeah, but they, still, don't have but their... they don't have their secret weapon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they spent a lot of money on something that they can't use anymore. Well, if they can't even... <laughs> I just imagine, like, they're uh... just, like, trying to break open the stone safe now. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that you changed the uh, combo on that. <laughs> the count's gonna be pretty fucking pissed. No oh, good. Um, he's a douche, so it's all right. Um, um, yeah, splitting the party though, because <clears throat> we've done that quite a bit in the past few sessions. I feel like it worked today. Yeah, it doesn't always work though. Yeah. I am like usually one hundred percent like, against yeah. like that, but that's fine. I think it worked because people, like, you and Warren really didn't do much. Mm -hmm. So, like, people just kind of, like, relinquished their time to others. And I think that's why it worked. Mm -hmm. I think if, like, there's a, like, we had clear-cut goals. Not everyone was doing something. Mm -hmm. That's why it worked. Is that why it normally doesn't work? I'm sort of curious. Like, I would imagine it's because splitting the party makes you weaker and you die. That is it really more just a logistical, like... It's a logistical of a nightmare. Imagine if, like, you're dealing with two different combat encounters. Yeah. Sure. Or, like, you're, I don't know, you're split up in, like, let's say you have two paths in front of you in a dungeon, and the DM has 
everything planned for both sides of the dungeon party goes like we're gonna Scooby Doo it. <laughs> then you're dealing with both things, but then like okay. hopping around, and then people get bored. Yeah, yeah, and that's the other thing. That's actually why, as a DM, I don't generally like. I will never say party don't do stuff. Right, mm. like if they want to split the party, that's entirely on them. Um, but like someone gets bored at some point, like or they mm -hmm. don't. By the end of the session, they don't feel like they were able to do anything or that they contributed, mm -hmm. or there's like a lack of like in character speak, you know. Yeah. And so people don't feel mm. like, you know, they mm -hmm. really got as much out of the session. You also like if you get into two combats, it doubles the time for combat. Easy. Yeah. Um, yeah. How do you normally do that? Like, because I feel like you did a really good job at Storm. Like, okay, you did a thing. Now, while you're doing that, this is what they're doing. Yeah. Right. So, like, and a combat. Usually... Are you running two combats at once, or would you do one and then the other? I usually would do one and then the other, because otherwise there's just too yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. Two initiative orders. My gosh, yeah. Yeah. Like... I also tried to avoid it by, so when I had Eric roll the d12, just to see how well, like, when combat could have happened at mm. that point, and technically should have, but I was just like, oh, I'm not doing that. I also, like, will make it really disadvantageous for my, my party to, yeah. to to actually split the party. Mm -hmm. Like, any time they do that, it goes totally awry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Because, I, as a DM, I deeply hate it when my players yeah. do that. As a player, I'm like, but it's fun that way. And as a yeah. DM, I'm like, no. <laughs> like, yeah. But I feel like you guys have split, not just between last session and this one, but I feel like there have been some split times. But it's also because Boggs has to stay back because of how he looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of times where Boggs... Yeah, we've definitely had a lot of that. Um, how do you feel about that? As I a mean, player, like you know, having to kind of sit back. It's kind of boring, but <laughs> I was texting her things like, what I was doing. Yeah. I texted her. Like, I only the time, looked at half of them. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no worries. And by the time Eric was like, you know, walking around or whatever, I said that I was becoming worried about the amount of time that it had taken you and I was preparing to like do something <laughs> to make a distraction. But uh, it was actually important because that, that, that thing prompted me as Warren to go recon with Mag. Mm -hmm. So we were a little bit more on the same page as opposed to in the dark. Mm -hmm. So that actually ended up being something real. I feel important because the distraction thing may not have worked out as well as it did. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, why did Mags go off on her own? I mean, like, that, like today we had three separate, like, mm -hmm. sections, right? Which is not something I normally see. Like, usually it's two. Mm -hmm. But Mags decided to go around to, like, do, like, to get prepared for the stuff. Like, what was the... I mean, if you feel comfortable sharing it, like, what was the internal character motivation for, like, going off? Well, I don't want to be around any of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair, though, right? Like, when one character has really different morals mm -hmm. than the other people in the party, or like, you know, like I can understand why Boggs is like really pissed at these people for like infiltrating the space in his his home, and you're like, but these are fellow magic users, right? Like, mm -hmm. and like, where do your loyalties lie? And what does that mean? Like, it's just interesting. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. just an interest. It was an interesting play of of, of like. I thought it was cool to see characters do what they like, what they would do. Yeah. Like, if one of them is pissed, I'm gonna go off to the side. Fuck you. Like, yeah. like, and, like, and to have that, to have that play out that way, it was just like a cool. Like, I think it was really in character, which is yeah. It's nice to see that kind of like really in character stuff happen. Like, even if it it's hard as a DM though, because I'm right, no, like, no, it is. I don't want to piss someone off real no, 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 bad. No, 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 no. And like, and there's like, and it creates like, it can create this dissonance right between mm -hmm. the party players. But like, that's okay because they're real. They're real people, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, our characters are real people. I mean, this isn't the first time we've had PvP in our group. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm trying to do my best because it's usually between you two, and I usually try my best to like. <laughs> All right, the thing goes in Franz's favor, and this, and sometimes it just goes in Mags's favor because there's been times I've where I've never attacked anyone in the group. You did steal from me though. <laughs> when did I? Steal and you did from grapple me? him one. Grapple. It was when you pinned him outside of Nah. And you did take uh -huh. two attacks on us today. But other the... than those three times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did I attack you? It you was. Hurt me. It you was hit the me. yeah. It was the the cloak, cloak. thing. I was and attacked. I was, I was attacked so. first. But and Boggs did not attack you. You were you grapple. Also. A grapple is an attack. I mean, the way yeah, it was literally like called an attack grapple. Well, the way I, like the way I'm like visualizing it is like I imagine like initiative like in in fiction looks like you're readying yourself for combat. Uh -huh. So that's why Franz joined the fray, grappled you as opposed to attacking you or doing something else. Mm -hmm. um, 
It's holding you back, bro. Yeah, it was literally holding you back. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. there were certain times where, like, it, like it always, every, every fucking time someone dies, it comes like, do we leave them dead, or do we revive them, or get stuff like that. And sometimes it goes, uh, like, I just, like, DM is like, all right, he, he lives. Go for it. Mm -hmm. And this time I was like, Fuck it, he dies. Like, yeah, move on, you know. Dead. Um, you, you actually missed it. I, I made a joke and, when he uh, revivified him. Like, oh, Franz is just gonna shoot him. He's like, hey, what's going on? Are we still alive? And then you came uh, and you're like, oh, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> um, and like, out of uh, like above table, I did have him roll death saves after I said, no, he's not important because I just really wanted to just move us to the next point mm -hmm. instead of dwell on this. And he did save. <laughs> so. So oh. he is alive? No, he got blown up. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you he was, what was that body? Like, you could have chosen any body and you chose that one? Well, it was, it I was... mean, roll, roll a, let's roll a d4 because I forgot there was a second body still. Or Yeah, there were two there. There's three bodies. There, there were three there. Okay, roll a d4. Three choices. Um, <laughs> well, if you roll... I would have wanted him dead, so could I have told, like, could I have... Did you roll with it? Like, did you... I guess if, you, if Bob's would have pointedly... God, you know, fuck it. It's not game oh. time anymore. <laughs> it's a, it's, Schro it's, it's Schrodinger's uh, NPC. He's alive and dead. In no, our he's hearts. dead. Um, in my, in my heart. He's a traitor. But yeah, but uh, go ahead. So I, so I also have a question, right? So like, um, like so when a new person joins the party, it's always interesting to be the player that like joins the party because sometimes you have like you know what Mags did where it's like we inherently trust this person why because meta they're a PC so we trust this person we had that <laughs> <laughs> and where Bob's is like uh, no <laughs> how do we know how how do we know to trust this person like last time we trusted someone they stabbed us in the back what are you doing um, and so it's interesting to see kind of like how different players like. Mm. Say yes, we're gonna trust this person, or no, we're not mm -hmm. gonna trust this person. Uh, I don't think I've ever brought in a new PC to a new group and been like in fighting. How do I deal yeah. with this? It <laughs> 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 was like I'm just not. You should have just started not, playing like a. a I almost body. did. I almost was just like a uh, calm emotion. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta, you know, yeah, get everyone to settle down. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I think that's it. It's interesting. Why, like, yeah, I think like meta inherently we want to trust the people at the table, right. and therefore we want to trust the character. Um, but also, like both times you brought in NPCs, they were like, well, wait, which I said both times, okay. this, including this oh, time. okay, like because we finished the session. Yeah, is that like the character? The the character um, knows something that we need, so you right. supply the new player with mm -hmm. some sort of knowledge. Last time we were trapped in the underground cavern, and we literally had no choice. Right, it's like trust this person or die. You're yeah, just... pretty much. Um, we made some stupid mistakes, but you know, it's here or there. Um, and like in this situation, I think we had a little bit more control. Like we could have just blown you off. You're like, yeah, we'll figure it out. You could have, yeah. Like I actually was like, I'm just gonna approach these people in the middle of the night in the woods. <laughs> um, be like, you know. Do the stuff because I work for the enemy, so you should trust me. <laughs> like, yeah. um, which is always entertaining. <laughs> uh, that yeah. Point was made though that you were trying to keep us, seemingly trying to keep us from blowing ourselves up. So yeah. like, there's there's a reason to trust. True, you, fair. But maybe you had nefarious plans, like you wanted to capture us. No, Bob's was like, I don't trust you, and my <laughs> character's like, yeah, you really shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's a good on you. <laughs> I feel like the bro ship was made with, like, the two of you letting out all of the lizards, though. Oh, and totally. And yes. river dancing. Yeah, yeah, river dancing. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. So that was funny. I wasn't totally. anticipating that, uh, which was nice. Which, the um, lizard thing or the... Both. <laughs> like, or the, the dead bro, has both. The, the river dancing or the, like, the no, lizards or the bromance? <laughs> well, both. Um, and, and the... Yeah, so, because pretty much, like, I set this up where the odds were stacked against you. Like, you almost just went back home. So, right. like, I had to anticipate either you moving forward and going into the compound or you setting up stuff 
ready to do the defensive. Right. Um, I 100% thought that this session was going to be like planning with the farmers on defense. Like that is what I thought was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And then that didn't. They were just like, almost. you walk 15 feet in front of us, we'll see if you blow yourself up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, okay, maybe I need to have a secondary character. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> And I think it was that decision that made us go, you know what, yeah, this is, a, this is why we're doing this plan is because you <laughs> Because I was the cannon fodder and was willing to just do it for yes. fantasies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so it was really interesting because, like, in my head, I always anticipate different ways that you could possibly do right. because I don't want, I don't want anything, I, I want as little things as possible to be impossible right. For, right. The, for the party. Yeah, like, there cool. are certain things that you just can't do without repercussions like that's the nature of it but that doesn't mean that you can't do things that with the odds stacked against you so when i was creating this i was thinking of different ways you could use the glyphs to your advantage or mm -hmm. certain things and like you were just like nah we're gonna figure something else out and i was like cool because that also means that like you know i'm setting it up in ways that allow more than just my own way of thinking mm -hmm. right. to solve um, cause the, the mo quote unquote most easiest thing that I thought would be was, um, getting people into glyphs somehow. Cause they were ranged there. Uh, not all of them knew where it was. Um, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. you know, that was one option to, and I was in the picking people up. I didn't consider you, you know, ruining their lizard army in two ways. Like one, killing the panpipes and two, just pff, lizards gone. And the other thing um, was I expected the Dragonborns to go with you when that happened. So when they mm -hmm. saw the lizards enslaved, I was going to have them ruin it for you guys. That's I, I figured that was going to happen. So Just like meta. Like, I, um, my, like Franz wasn't thinking that, but I was mm -hmm. like, you know... Because I, I was thinking, because like I had like interaction with those lizards, like they're gonna have some sort of visceral visceral reaction yeah. to this. And I just kept almost calling them dragonborns the entire fucking session. The drat lizards, <laughs> every time. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so like, like if they had seen that, if they had known that there were um, lizards caged up, they just would have went right into it, not oh, even thinking. Like for sure. So for that sure. would have either sure. resulted in like them not being a character anymore, pretty mm. much, because I think that you guys would have made an attempt to save them, but in reality, like, you probably could not pull them away and fend off the entire encounter. No, we would have had to choose to fight or run, which would not have been. Yeah. Um, but it also begs the question whether or not the pan flute affects them, which I'm still curious about. Ooh, that's um, a good question. I mean, yeah. I don't want to... I mean, I could test that. <laughs> <laughs> Let next week happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm kind of wondering about the ecological ramifications of like hundreds to thousands of literally giant lizards. Yeah. When, when he was like, so what, what, we're just going to let them run amok? I'm like, no, we're going to let them run out and they're going to like make a home in, in this marsh and they're going to be calm. Like, yeah, it makes it easy. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's going to ruin everything. Like the insect population is just no longer going to exist. <laughs> Well, I also just like the idea, though, that, like, getting the Dragonborn, like, invested in this part. Because, like, the way it was set up is, like, we need to handle this before we handle your stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad, like, there's a way now for them to feel invested as NPCs in what this mission is. Mm -hmm. um, like, there's a reason for them to be there now, you know? Yeah, yeah. instead of just, like, we're just going to hang out in a marsh. Like, right? Like, it's kind of... I feel like sometimes with NPCs that are, like, hanging around the party, it can be like that. You're in a bar, and you're just gonna go on an adventure together now, because yep. there was an old dude with a map. Like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like that can happen with NPCs. Out. Right? I can feel like, I feel like that can happen with NPCs, too, where it's just, like, mm. they're there because the DM needs them there for something, but they, mm. as characters, don't always have, like, mm. a super good reason to be there. Yeah. So kudos to you, Kelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a whole plan for this fucking Dragonborn clan, and I was like talking to Eric one day after introducing. I was like, "Oh man, like you'll probably never find out what becomes of them, because like they're you know, time has to pass. And right now, you guys have only been together for like two weeks, three at most. With the Dragonborn? No, like, oh, you, as a party, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, geez, really? Like they're the last three weeks, they've gone to level five. <laughs> well, <laughs> 
So well, there's lot. that thing that happened that... Um, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, there's so, a thing that happened that did things, yeah. yeah. What? Wait, uh, is this a secret thing? No, it's not know? a secret thing. It's just oh. something that I should have talked to you guys about, but just didn't. <laughs> Let's hear it. So there's a... There's been another uh, big rock. Ooh, Y'all were underground for it. Oh, wow. Oh, that would explain some things. Yeah. Interesting. More magic infused into the planet. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, um... Meteor. That's the word. Yeah. I mean, and also, like, talking about, like, game time versus real time, like, yeah, um, they've only been together for about three weeks, right. but we've been playing since January, and, right. like, what no, we've no, yeah. through. No, yeah. right. I was just, um, that was not a critique by any oh, no. means. It's... It was more like, shit, you guys have been playing since January. It's only been three weeks in the game. How'd that happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I think y'all need to take Something some vacation. A long time. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I almost considered like putting in time skips in the story soon, yeah. but I feel like you all are doing very localized things. That like let's say because we do have a plot point in the southern city state as right. a potential thing, and it would take time to do it. And rather than make you play out four or five weeks worth of travel, we just say like four or five weeks pass by, right. or something like that. Well, I mean, this I mean this is also one of the things of like. So normally when I DM, I DM four to six hours of games. Yep. And it was like mm -hmm. a total shift when I the DM DMs the first time mm -hmm. um, to move to the two to three hours. Like that was so hard to like figure out how to space things out or like how to like get things to move quickly or how to get a battle done in two hours because sometimes battles take the entire six hour session. Yeah. And you're like, shit, I need to do that in two hours. Go. Yeah. And it's like, that's... It's like really, it, it mm. slows things down in a way that you I didn't anticipate when I started DMing. Like that Inquisitor yeah. battle took that pretty much that entire time, right? Yeah, I was. Uh, uh, we did, did two battles that one because we also yeah. took out the like the, the guards. The guards. Oh. And then, so there was two fights. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I counted it as like a fight part one and fight part two. Yeah, yeah. that's how yeah. I thought about it. Mm. But yeah, like I'm actually amazed at how breezy we can get through some. It's easier, combat scenario. it's easier for us a little bit because we're a smaller group. So combat goes yeah. quicker too. Yeah. Well, and like, it seems to me that you guys use, you guys don't use a whole lot of magic. Like Boggs in this last one was kind of the only one that used, like in battle, like in turn by turn, mm -hmm. Boggs was the only one that used like actual spells where the rest of us were using bows. Yep. Um, which is, there's really only one thing you do. You yeah, <laughs> like, shoot things. Yeah, right. And yeah. like we and like the rules aren't hard. Like you don't have to look them up all the time. Like it's just True. and so it makes things quicker. Where when you have a lot of magic users doing a whole lot of magic stuff, sometimes it's like, oh wait, I need to look up that thing. Like what was that? Is rule? it a cone? Like, is it a spear? Right. right. <laughs> like what is what is the thing? How does it work? And yeah, and um, and when yeah. you have like people who are ranged or melee in that kind of like just using the mm -hmm. tools at my disposal, yeah. um, things go quicker most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think uh, there's a lot of different things you can do to like speed up combat, but it also kind of goes back to like it's kind of like media idea. That's like when you maybe like when you play like a six hour session, it's like a movie. When you play like a four hour session, it's like a one hour long TV show. Mm -hmm. But when you play like these kind of sessions, which is what I DM on Tuesday yeah. nights, we play from usually 8 to 10 30 so only like two and a half hours mm -hmm. now like a 30 minute tv show so like the pacing is just different like yeah. it's you like want there to be, versus... you want there to be like a conflict and resolution and like each right. mm -hmm. in each session and the amount you can draw those out just depends on mm -hmm. how yeah. long the session is and that can affect the narrative in some ways yeah that's why i let you guys have the surprise run without even any check for it right. because that combat could have gone a lot differently and if someone was able to shout you know then mm -hmm. you would would have had more trepidation moving forward mm -hmm. um so like yeah you so but scouted them out so you would have been able to take your time but like if i made you roll stealth checks just to make sure mm -hmm. if someone you know crit fail then um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like your luck. Um, that's my goal in this group is just fuck up stealth checks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so why did you guys end up going with a three hour session over like when you guys started? Like, what was the? Uh, like, well, two and a half hour play, half hour. Yeah. Like talk, as opposed to a longer amount of time. Um, I just thought three hours was fine. Um, I also didn't want to over ask 
Right. Anything of I mean, everything. Like weekly games. Oh, we're all in graduate school. All that yeah. Jazz, yeah. And um, I know that in the past it was like one week game, one week talk. If I'm oh, not mistaken. Oh, it was also still only two and a half hours. Yeah. Oh no, but I mean like I wanted story every week. Right. Yeah. So that's why I. No, I mean. Yeah. The re the only reason why D and Ms had historically been every other week is because that is what we could ask of the professors who were involved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and you know, those of us mm -hmm. who don't have children or you know are a little have a little more time on our hands somehow mm -hmm. uh, could do the every week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, beginning of the semester, Kelly had like essentially modules written out um, for the first few sessions, and today I'm just like. There's glyphs and the encampment, and I'll figure out what's going to happen when they decide what yeah. they're doing. Yeah, yep. Like, yeah, no, I feel that. that. And, I feel that deeply. Yeah. So, end of the semester, Kelly is like, so it's all up here. Yeah. It exists good. in yeah. my brain. Hopefully, it'll come out. I'm it's basically. easier to do that with the uh, shorter kinds of sessions than it is with the longer mm -hmm. ones. Like, I've yeah. done, like, when I've DM'd, like, something that was, like, let's say, like, five or six hours long. It's like I've got everything planned, like start to finish, and I got all this other stuff, like making sure, mm -hmm. like I know every little detail of like the whole dungeon or something. But then it's like, oh, like last week I DM'd and I was like, I knew that they were in the sky and they'd be like making their way to like this cave. I was like, huh, some saber tooth tigers will attack them. There'll be some bullywogs defending the cave entrance of the cave. That sounds about right. And then we spent the first hour and a half. They just had party conflict, and then <laughs> then they fought some saber tooth tigers, and we were done. Nice. Easy peasy. And so, like, the, the shorter length of time allows you to, like, do a lot less preparing, which is nice. Because, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. again, combat just takes... It's a time sink sometimes. Yeah. But it's fun. Oh, that's, yeah. That's I why mean, you play the game. That's interesting to me. So, like, you do a lot of planning for your sessions, like, when you have longer sessions? Yeah. I'm, I am almost all off the cuff all the time. I mean, I don't, I don't really do a lot of planning. I just more mean, like, I did more planning when I was, right. like, oh, I have to... Like, especially, like, a one-shot. Like, I feel like I gotta know everything for a one-shot. Yeah. Whereas with, like, in my, like, campaigns, like, I know the world, so I can just make it all up as, as the players are doing their, right. their thing. Yeah, I feel yeah. like back when I started DMing and I didn't know anything about DMing, I did a lot more prep. And now that I... Sorry. Now that I have, like, run in most of the worlds that I run in most of the time, like, it's just about making sure that I know what pieces of the world they're probably gonna run into. Mm -hmm. And then I just know everything else because I've already done it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and like making sure I have stats for like monsters and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I don't know. I um I also like <coughs> prepping less only because I feel like it gives the players more opportunity. Mm -hmm. Um and I won't try and railroad you either way. Like it, I did railroad you a couple of times, like when I, when like Max was about to go off. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Everyone has to be on the same fucking page before they go out because mm -hmm. I, as a DM, can't handle that and that and that and that. Yeah. So I wanted everyone to be on the same page before you split, so I, as a DM, could also keep track of what was going on. So, so I do like yes, railroading does happen sometimes in this campaign, but I try to not. I don't know that I, I would characterize that as like yeah. I don't know that right. I would say that's being a good like that's being a DM. Yeah. And railroading is more like, I have a story planned out for you, and you are going to do the story because I planned it out, and you can't yeah. do anything else. Like, you can't go back to the farm. Right, like, yeah. I am going to make sure that you do exactly what I want you to do. It's just a force field. You yeah. can't tell, but you can't walk any further. <laughs> right, yeah. You know? like, And I think that's railroading more than saying, okay, I have to... I think... Like, I, rain, like you know, I don't know. Mm. I think as a player, like, I, I recognize that you are spending your time and energy doing this, too. So, like, I want you to have a good time, you know? Oh, so, yeah. like, if there's if there, if you've planned a cool thing, then I want to do that thing. Mm -hmm. And if, if it's a little heavy-handed for you to get us there, I mean, whatever. Like that one time with the lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you just felt like was, you should... I think you could suggestion yeah, that after I that, After that session, I told Kelly, you know, we're, if we're going to the Capitol, you could have just had us be walking by the lighthouse. Right. Like, you know... Yeah. Like, like it didn't like she had, like she's funny because yeah. she made it more railroady than it had to be. Yeah, yeah. but I mean like you know. It's and fine. the actual reason why is because I drew like a little map out and like the lighthouse wasn't on the road to the capital. So because in my head the lighthouse is not in the road to the capital, you have to go to the lighthouse rather yeah. than just mentally going. Boop, there it is. <laughs> so, you were there all along. Yeah. <laughs> 
So closing thoughts, we got two minutes. Um I feel like I'm I feel like I'm in the middle of a pretty a pretty good arc for uh bogs. I was yeah. actually really interested in the way that you were just like, you're dying and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> uh, which was pretty dark. Because, uh, yeah. yeah. like, I imagine Boggs, like, from the beginning, this, like, happy little baker at one point, you know, when you uh, disguise yourself as the baker. Mm. Um, so That's when like, he thought he was, he used to be human. Yeah. And now he realizes that he has no connection to that plane of existence. So, wait, so you're just going to sacrifice humanity? Well, no, I mean, <laughs> with a purpose. <laughs> but if it gets in the way of that purpose, then... Oh, okay. Yeah, the fact that you came in... Just like someone would pull a weed out, out of a garden... Yeah. I'm just like shit. <laughs> that, that is clear, that is the most ruthless thing. I, I see, see flowers and I see weeds. Oh I shit! Oh <laughs> yeah, like Mr. Mr. Boggs with the flower that you like used to grow and the good oh, berries you man. gave I'm to thinking, your friends. I mean, not to give everything away, but I'm thinking very much Magneto. You know, like I'm just sort of aping characters. So I've gone Swamp Thing. I don't know. I'm sort of beastie at the beginning. When I put straight Magneto. When I put oh, this I together, like one of this character together, I really I had anti hero in mind. Mm. Um. I think that's why our characters got all <laughs> <laughs> I didn't trust because your greasy, unwashed hair. Uh, he does. You look like a musician. Hair. One day you'll see him with washed. <laughs> One day you'll see him like together, uh, and it will be hilarious. I assume he's just like a dude, you know, like halfway through some crap little leg of a tour, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like this, you can tell it's about to smell. <laughs> he hasn't had like, a bad night in Memphis. He's been hung over for like a week straight. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um. <laughs> I'm excited to be like joining this campaign, by the way. So thank you. For, yeah. I'm excited that you can stick around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Letting me nice. hang out. Yeah. Are you joining? Joining? I am joining. Joining. Yes. Yeah. So preliminary exams are tomorrow, mm -hmm. which is why I'm here today, so I don't study because I needed something to make me not study. Totally. Yeah. And, um, and then after that, all of my time becomes a whole lot more. So, should we give an so, official like Ash joined the party fanfare when it when it officially happens? Hell yeah! yeah. It has like, officially sure. happened. It has, I mean, technically, it has officially yeah. happened, but yeah. well, you sort of wrapped up in this, but and I don't know if you would like continue the the hanging out. Well. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like after we move yeah. on from yeah, I dig it. Yeah. Yes, my plan is I am now off my year long hiatus of like consistent gaming. Cool. And I. I'm done with prelims as of tomorrow. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and, um, and then I can actually have time to like hang out with my with gamers, which yeah. is you know where I like to be. So just oh, yeah. that little dissertation thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just have to do the research first. And oh, yeah, yeah. The research yeah. is the next year, and the research is mostly nights. So you always get to down time, right? Like you can never yeah, be exactly. all the time busy. Uh, my life. Begs to differ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, yeah, good session. Yeah. We'll look forward to next week. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next Monday. Bye. Bye. Peace.